uh, those photos are great. The what's what's great? Those photos. Oh, there's just a couple. Yeah, sure. now you can see. Here's here's a few, and then there's some on the side of the the bookcase you can't see. And there's there, there's a trivia photo up there, right? Where is it? Right up oh, in the corner, the other corner. There you go, right in the corner, right up there. Weird. Wait, wait. Right there is the trivia picture we took at SciCon. Hmm. I'm gonna have this. There's the other one over from the other day. Yeah, that's more. That's <laughs> more speed right there. There's a heater pad. There's my <clears throat> CSI award, uh, CSI fellow and CSI um, uh, expert, scientific and technical consultant. And he's got my skeptic zone cup, my picture on it. It's just oh, it's always weird here. And I was on one of your live streams, I guess, yesterday, the day before you had one. I was on there for at least a good three, four seconds before you ended it. I, I, I just got a pop up and Facebook said you were doing a live stream. So I went on to it long enough to listen to you and Mark yelling at each other. And then it ended. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what the topic was. I was talking about an article I want to write for uh, Skeptical Inquirer coming up. Ah. And I was asking people's opinions on what would the world look like if psychics were real, mediums ah. were real. And I was saying, you know, we wouldn't need historians, we wouldn't need genealogy, we would, trials wouldn't, I mean, why would you need a trial? We would just have somebody say that person there is guilty and you know, what would the world be like if psychics were real? Well, I, you, I you know, you wouldn't trust a dead person. You should have to cross-examine them. Oh, Rob, Rob's got Rob, like... Rob, get off of Susan's desk. <laughs> um, I don't know. See, the problem is there's no way to penalize a dead person for perjury. Mm. Ooh. Well, it depends Ooh. on whether you believe That's in reincarnation. Mm. And it depends on whether or not you Are believe you, you can the yeah, send so them to hell. Body. Over my dead body? <laughs> yeah. If there's reincarnation, you can get them on the next time round. Ooh, yes. The dead are here. mostly tricksters and liars. I Plus don't believe in reincarnation. I used to, but that was in a previous life. Oh, my previous life. <laughs> but you know what? See, the thing is, is that I really think you know, that's a, that's people, a joke. I talk to people who believe in, yes. in mediumship all the time, and you, when you try to ask them that, so you really believe, and they're like, "Yes, I believe some people can communicate with the dead," and and you think. But uh, how? Wh what would that mean if they could really communicate with the dead? Why would they be on TV? You know, or I mean, wouldn't they be solving crimes? And they'll say, "Oh yeah, some do solve crimes." They're like, well, we don't know of any uh, ever. And they'll, "Oh yeah, there's some," or they can't tell anybody. It's like, but then why do we still have crimes that are unsolved? missing people and so on it doesn't so work on. like that Susan. it doesn't work like yeah that's what they say but that's a, but you try to get them to you say but but if we did yeah there's ben's book but if you if you believe in that then why do we still have historians why why would we not know what actually happened because it doesn't work like that susan but they and they never can come up with an answer they just don't quite grasp or or, or you don't accept the answer that they give it doesn't which work is like it doesn't work like that susan <laughs> See, we win. Yeah. Uh, i i don't know i'm just having a real hard time wrapping my mind around it and i don't get why they don't get it okay robin's on her way hi leonard i was at a coffee meetup earlier today and met wired American that uh might be interested <laughs> in try to recruit him to join the uh, trivia group. Oh, cutie. You're going to recruit people? This should be clamoring over top of each other to get onto our show. Non proselytizing. Sure, <laughs> well, I'm going to proselytize a little bit. But... <laughs> oh, that'll be good. So tonight uh, we have um, Ron, Jamie, Rob, Janine, and Carl. Cool. Hi, Ben. Hi, so good morning. Here. Normally, when I'm playing trivia, it, like in Australia right now, it's just after one o'clock in the afternoon. So my trivia experiences have been an afternoon affair going on into the early evening. Now it's it's 
It's night. It's dark outside. It's, it's strange to be doing trivia at night time. Yeah. So I Rob, must have been doing okay. it for a while. Rob, should I spend the next 10 minutes learning everything I can about the U.S. presidents? Maybe. Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> I'm not going to say it would help. But Romero, might, uh, I've made you the, the troll buster. <clears throat> so you're in charge of that. It, so Kyle. Okay. Hey. Hey, I just listened to you on Squaring the Strange. And that's exactly what I always wanted to talk to you about. So I don't know what to do now. Oh, all right. Yeah, I see your conundrum. <laughs> mm. I'll th we'll think about it. Maybe it'll make it more general. But I really wanted to talk to you because we haven't talked about Missing 411 since it started. And like I have the personal piece because I went to a meeting where this was discussed by like 60 of these people who believe it. So uh -huh. I, I wanted to mention that. Hmm. We'll your see. call. I'm totally flexible. I, we'll I see. see your conundrum. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe make it less of the, uh, you know, more just generally talk about your podcast in general, talk about some subjects. And then, you know, fit that one in there. Maybe we'll do that. All right, cool. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Morning, buddy. So for, for those of you that want to have your, uh, your brains um, exercised, I'm putting a link in the chat <clears throat> to a physics paper a friend of mine wrote. Is that exercise or exorcised? Archive. Um, as in uh, become very active. Is this, the, okay. is this the one we talked about at the BAS yesterday? Yeah. Right. Oh, what, what, is that, what is that about, generally? It's um, oh, yeah. about right. the possibility of uh, vacuum energy being what's inside of a black hole. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, I have to read it. Interesting. Is vacuum energy a novel concept introduced here, or is that otherwise defined in physics? It's vacuum free. energy is a well-defined concept. Yeah. Although free. not a really good Wikipedia page, as we discussed for 10 minutes a, yesterday. Your crap Wikipedia page. I, I, I put citations needed all over the damn thing last night. Yeah, and, and, and the problem with that is if they added the citations, that would make it more authoritatively wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well but right now like really the majority there's like 10 or something like that nine citations and most well at least three maybe four of them are all for vacuum energy and popular culture star trek deep space hmm. nine stargate i mean those are the citations on the page yeah those are the most that's the most factual stuff yes that's page. right <laughs> all of the stuff that science has no citations on it at all yeah um does it reference Casimir effect? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> the, the page, Casimir the page effect, does. The, the, uh, yeah, the page does. Uh, the, the paper, for the paper, the Casimir effect is a <clears throat> simple, nearly trivial uh, um, consequence of, of uh, modern physics. Can you turn your I thought they were talking about vacuum uh, cleaners. Uh, no, um, what do I know? Not, not. Uh, this is not a. Uh, this is not Hoover energy. This is vacuum energy <laughs> or, or Dyson. Dyson energy. I walked yeah. away and I uh, came well, back. Well, gee, and I guess. Uh, scary. I guess you need a vacuum cleaner to remove the the space junk in orbit of, uh, around the Earth. That, um, issue? that would be that's, tough. Since that's it sucks an interesting in air. use of the word vacuum. Yes, <laughs> it, it's appropriate. Yeah. So, so the most interesting thing that came up yesterday, I don't remember if this was in the paper or this is an extrapolation of it, is that the increasing expansion of the universe may be connected to the black holes yeah. physics. Yeah, it's it's it it's really subtle, complicated, difficult to understand stuff. Is that ADS CFT? Um, no. So I want to know is anybody, vacuum condensate stars. is anybody beside me following the Alec Murdoch trial? Who's Alan Murdoch? Don't know who that Alex. is. So Who's Alec Murdoch? Bunch of nerds here, I tell you. He murdered like his wife and his son. Or that's what he somebody he, is following. Thank done. you, Faith. Hi, Faith. Well, I haven't been following the trial. I just know that he's 
claiming he didn't do it or something like that. I don't know. He testified today. Amazing. He's going to prison, statistically. <clears throat> Yeah, well, we Susan, did, it, been did it rain down there today? Yeah, a little bit. We got up. I was up at Chabot. Morning. It was hailing. We got hail down in Southern California. Yeah, Chabot. we got some sleet. I saw Brian Hart's video with uh, hail in it. I saw yeah, I was in the uh, gummy. It was a lovely <laughs> 81 degrees here today. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it was February, a lovely minus, uh, minus 27 there. <laughs> here today <laughs> that's uh that's colder so i, I <laughs> is, yeah it's yeah. Re it's really <laughs> cold here yeah uh i, I was out, yeah but your uh, zero is warmer i was out, i was out across 57 books richard four layers on my upper body and three on my lower and i felt okay <laughs> no but yeah. you're not listening to me anyway <laughs> no we're not susan we can't hear you I know that's I why we're not listening. Like, aren't you under a blizzard watch or a warning or something like that? It's not talking. Oh, us? <laughs> no, Susan. Very good, Richard. Oh, Susan. No. He's not talking. Hi, Jamie. Hi, good morning. Hi, Jim. Tomorrow's a nice Hi, day. Hi, Bill. Hello. Good to see you. Are we about ready to start? We're got ready to start. We've got a few more people who are joining in a little bit, but that doesn't matter. I wanted to point out, um, since I have your attention, finally. This is a really good podcast. I started listening to it on the way to pick up Richard Saunders uh, yesterday. Gosh, uh, Richard Weissman's got a new podcast out. It's called On Your Mind. I've listened Ooh. to Lying and Laughter, and they're both extraordinary. They're about 30 minutes long. I learned so much that I couldn't stop telling people that I ran into about what I heard on Lying and Laughter. And then there's next is Sleep and Ghost. Richard Weissman is such a, a, a talented part of our community he's just so yeah i mean so he's got dickie, that accent dickie wise, huh? dickie, dickie wise is uh yeah. is, is he mentioned yeah. on uh skeptic's yeah. guide they call him dickie wise well uh yeah it was a recent he, thing yeah oh no that's not okay. that's sacrilege or something yeah this this was this yeah yeah it was uh, it was at some event he mentioned that uh, uh um somebody asked hey, do, you, do you mind exactly what we uh what we call it? okay here's dicky wise <laughs> no I can't. well he's many things but he is not indexed unfortunately oh no he's not showing up huh i can't get him interesting well he's coming up on my podcast uh device huh I use um I have an Apple and I'm using yeah. podcasts on the Apple. Oh, you're a yeah. native podcast app. Yeah. On your mind is what it's All called. Right. And I'm so, um, you, really, really well done. He's he's got a woman science journalist. And I like that when the voices are so different that you can definitely tell who's talking. I don't like podcasts where they're too similar. You know, they use like three guys and they're just I, I can't tell who's talking. Oh my God! The first three SGU, years of of skept uh, of SGU episodes, I could not tell Bob from Jay, and now I don't Why understand that, frankly. Three years <laughs> because I now I think they're very different. But it at took the end a, of the first episode, I would have been like, I can't understand which person's who, and I'm out of here. That's how it would have been. I, can't. Well, it, it I never it had any trouble. Bother really? me, but but then oddly, they mentioned that once before, where someone wrote them a letter and said that. And I, yeah. Oh, this, this, that's a problem. Lots of people apparently have. Um, but then again, there's lots of Trump voters. So, <laughs> what are you making a connection? What? No, no, just humans have issues. Uh, okay. <laughs> and there are a variety of different kinds of issues, and Ooh, certainly yeah, a variety yeah. of different kinds of, of humans. And I would never, under any circumstances, assume that Mr. Palmer is in any way related to a Trump voter other than being human. <laughs> okay, so I just found on your that, mind on my podcast app. So there we go. The so United States presidents. Uh, uh, Which it, doesn't it, it, include it, Trump, I just noticed. Yeah, I purposely yeah. cut off the last row because I couldn't stand looking at yeah. his face. <laughs> Any connection with the uh, what the, the US ex-US president who died recently? 
Oh, he isn't dead. He's not dead oh. yet. He's, in he's not room. dead. Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. He's what? Dead yet. Jimmy Carter is in hospice care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, he yes. will be now that we've been talking about him. Yeah, thanks, guys. Oh, okay. well, he, uh, yeah. uh, oh, you don't go into hospice care uh, un unless it's going to happen soon. Yeah. yeah. It will be so funny. I have a friend who went into yeah. hospice care and got out with leukemia. My uh, uh, my grandmother. <clears throat> my not grandmother, at 99. No. Yeah, my grandmother went into hospice at 95. And um, the way the rules work in her county, uh, you can only be <clears throat> in the hospice for a maximum of six months. Uh, um, because back that's, back you know, it, obviously, it, death is not imminent otherwise. Um, she she died three weeks after hospice expired. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. I was able to Why? find him by Googling Richard Wiseman, but the top search is the skeptic zone. <laughs> well, that's nice to know. Mm -hmm. well, Richard Wiseman has How much did you pay for that ad, Richard? Yeah, it's, it's called How long? How it long is really have? good. It looks like this. Here, Janine. I was just is it you. new? I yep. mean, is it a new podcast? Yep, here it is. It's on your mind. There's four episodes out. I've listened to the first two, and they're terrific. Lying oh, great. And laughter. So there's sleep and ghosts oh, to come up. And there's I'll ask Richard to send me a promo. I'll play it on my show. Yes, please do. I, I can't imagine anything done by um, Richard Wiseman that isn't excellent. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Very, very talented. It's very interesting. It pulls in a lot of things that we've already, you know, we we heard him do about luck and about other stuff. It's I, I was really impressed. It was it was a good ride. You know, I drove I was driving down the freeway to go pick up Richard and it was like like in no time it was over and it was like wow that's been 30 minutes i've been driving 30 minutes very engaging well that's because you had your podcast um player set to 2x <laughs> <laughs> uh, playing at double speed on if you mind, play a podcast at double speed while driving do you drive double speed on your mind okay no um, i don't, I don't. that way uh remember don't forget to put faith in there no jane Vincent Rod. Put me where? Jane, I, have on you the, heard, on the screen? Have you heard anything name. from oh, Peggy? I don't know how to do that. Yeah, there's pictures up. Uh, oh, I, you did since then. I, did I just wanted I I've been worried about the road conditions. Yeah, I haven't I haven't heard from her that like on her drive back to California. I, I haven't either. either. And I've been initially. I've been texting her like are you okay? Did you make it? Are and you then she's going to have a car accident because a text message comes in right then. And she's <laughs> oh, that would be that was from Father Ted. Do you remember there was a guy who always kept his phone? Um, oh, he, he was a, one of those father. Do you remember Father Ted? Who remembers? Yeah, that? I used to watch. Oh, yeah, and, the, and then they had the one priest, and and Father Ted would would say would say I'm going to call him, and he'd call him, and then you'd see the priest, and he's. He says, and it rings on the other end and something happens like he falls off a bridge or or he, <laughs> something happens like he's on a game show where he's like trying to put um, stack something and he's about to win, you know, $100,000 or whatever. And then and then it rings and the, everything falls apart. And then then Father Ted hangs up and he says, oh, that's right. He told me not to call tonight. There was something very important happening tonight. Hangs up and it's always whatever disaster has happened to him. Anyway. Every yeah. time my son calls me, he said, he said, doesn't matter what day of the week, he says, are you at trivia? <laughs> <laughs> because for three times in a row, he called me on Thursday night during the well, middle of trivia. Right? So now he just asks, it's Saturday afternoon, whatever. <laughs> <He> just... <laughs> well, that's funny. Hey, All weeks trivia. are trivia It's weeks. a good guess. Yeah. Okay, here we go, you guys. Get in your room. Scoot in your little roomie. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Richard, you're not to go in a room. You're supposed to stay right oh, here. Let's give him a room. I need to take you and make you. How do you, how do you get me out of the room? How do I leave? I have to make you. Sorry. I, I got to move you out. I forgot. Move to main session. I have to give you special powers so that you can move around. That's what I can do. Can you can go you? in, but you can. Yeah, but I'll move with you, right? You should. Okay, now you're co-host. Bob, you, can you go? I still see Bob. It said I've been assigned co-host. Okay. Yeah, so you can be able to move around now. You can go in, but I, but 
I'll be able to hear him from your end. Bob, I can see Bob. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna close his. Uh, stop video because I don't want to see Bob because that'd be too weird. Let me move this over here. So we float around. Um, oh yeah, we we join a different team every round. Don't we? Yes, it's really kind of fun. I, I miss it whenever I've been on one team all the time. Erg, Ron, Faith, and oh, they're going to be excited because you know what it means. What? They're not just getting me; they're getting you. They're going to be all thrilled. Gosh. Like, oh, we have this, Susan. Oh, we're getting, we're getting Richard too. Mm -hmm. We're being recorded too. So is there anything you want to tell the audience, the thousands of people who are watching us? We're being right recorded right now. Yeah. I haven't. Uh, yeah, sure. A bit of important message. <laughs> That's right. B-A-N-C-E-N-T. The skeptic zone. Da da da. Da 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 da. Music. Here's okay. another important message. Kitty. Oh. Alan came in. Carolyn, Carl. So, for those of you listening at home, watching on the YouTube, the right you now all the people are away, forming their teams and coming up with clever and witty team names. We can't wait to hear what they're going to come up with. What do you think they're going to come up with, Richard? Because I always wonder this. What is What has been in the news that is so obvious? Some Anything to do with Washington. No, news. no, there, that's over. That's over. And only if Paula's here will she remind everybody. Oh, uh, what's in the news? Um, A Chinese balloon. We Chinese have balloon. We've we, had that. That's over. Yeah. Sometimes they get in here and they'll be like, come back and there'll be four names that are all about a topic. Or like Johnny Depp was one. Obviously, nobody's watching the Murdoch trial except for me, and maybe that's about it. Um, let go, let go, let go. Who? Why is Bob still here? Because Bob has two devices. Um, Ukraine? Possibly. By the weather? Biden and Poland? Poland or in Ukraine? Yeah. In Kiev? Or how about uh, the weather? Could be weather it's related. A bit cold, folks. If you're um, listening to this in a hundred years' time, it was cold this morning. Was there anything that happened that was ridiculous? Oh, I think uh, Marjorie Taylor Green wanted to divorce the country to divorce itself, and 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 like if you moved to a red state from a blue state, you had to wait three years to vote. She um, some she, to, she put out a video recently saying how she's not racist, and she knows lots of bad white people. Some of the white people she knows are even worse than black people. That's not racist at all. That's what she said. Oh. You, you know, she's. I think she's clever as a fox because we're talking about her even right now. We are talking about her and she has one vote out of all those other votes. She's no more influential than yeah. anybody else. Yet yeah. she's on our mind. Why? She's like, a, and she she's fundraises off of it. She, she turns out. Everybody's talking about her all over the media. So yeah, that's true. So, but if that's what she, she she's there to make money, she's unlikely to be kicked out because they're not well, going to uh, kick her out of there. Whatever happens, she will retire comfortably. She'll write books. She'll do tours. Whatever. When you think of all the people who get to their labor in life and struggling with health care, with accommodation, with everything. So many people just cruise through that part of their life because they've got lots of money. Very comfortable. She's she's divorcing. Is she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's going to have a new honey here soon. Some people said it might be Kevin McCarthy. <laughs> Gosh, you know, I Isn't don't even she know. going to be the vice president, the next vice president of Donald Trump? Well, you mean run with him? Yeah. I thought it was Nikki Haley who's trying to do that. We'll see. Okay, so I, let's I see. reckon if Trump has got any sense at all, he'll choose uh, her because it's it's so ridiculous you can't think it possibly work. 
That would probably work. No, I, here's what I think. Trump will be will not get to choose a, a vice president, but he's going to play several off of each other. Hint and play him for a very long time. And I think that he's going to be primaried out or yeah. not even make it to that, to do the you, point where think he, Pence will run. I don't think he's going to. OK, there's a difference between will he run and will he make it to the primaries? And then will he make it through the primary? Pence, I think he's going to hint at it for a while. I don't think he's going to really finally do much. He might announce, but I don't think he'll go farther than that. Um, I don't think I don't think Trump's going to get to the stage where he gets to pick a vice president, but I think he's going to constantly be throwing it out there to keep everybody like on edge, like, oh, you better be good because I might pick you as my vice president. Yeah. I think that's what's going to happen for a very long time. And then he will be primaried out. I'm going to call him back in the room. So I'm done. Where is that light? Let's see. Wait, I was trying to see what else might be in the news. I love this light. Well, why didn't you marry it? <laughs> Remember that when you were a kid? No, I don't. You love it so much? Why didn't you marry it? Really? They say, we used to say that to everything. Well, some people did. I figured out how to turn off that moving camera. Oh, good. Remember, Alex Murdoch is mentioned in the front page of the New York Times and the front page of the Washington Post. So well, I must admit, somebody's that, watching it. Until today, I hadn't heard about that trial. Yeah, is it the chip? I don't know. Come on, now. You know, we got to put some new batteries in there. You just put your batteries in there. Well, they were the cheap batteries. Why don't you try? Do you want to try putting the new batteries in? No. Here, I'll do it. But Richard, you're in charge. What do I do? You just talk to people. Did you call them back? I think you did. You're putting batteries in. You can't have a cast on the batteries. One, two, three. Talk to who? Hello. Hello. Did I call him back? Well, no one's come back. Yeah, it's closing in 12 seconds. Right. Oh, there's some batteries. Take them out of this. They're all rushing back. <clears throat> Susan is indisposed. Susan is indisposed. Well, she'll be back in a moment. She's. Uh, Hello. That's our team name. Whoa. Oh, Richard. Doesn't Richard. like Richard's microphone on. Richard, I, I'm I'm supposed to ask you something, but I can't remember what it is. So I'll uh, eventually, maybe in some week, I'll remember. <laughs> yeah. So where is disposed? So uh, yeah. Get her out of there. Uh, Susan teased well, us. We had Richard for like five seconds and then he left. He's not there yet. She's predisposed. Predisposed. <laughs> so She'll be disposed later. With, I take it you've all come up with a team name. Not really. You want to send us back? We'll keep working <laughs> on it. Yeah. <laughs> Too late. Susan's called you back and that's the bottom line. So Susan and I, before she was indisposed, we were trying to think what you'd all come up with. So we were thinking, could it be the Chinese balloon? Maybe, that's a bit old. Could it be Joe Biden in Eve, possibly? Mm. But Susan is now disposed. I'm I'm back, but I'm not back a second. A second. Hold on a second, I'm trying to find some batteries. I can't so Richard needs to be closer to a microphone so we can actually hear him. Well, the deal is, it's going to be feedback from Susan's yeah. unless he has like an earpiece. It's 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 a little bit tricky, but since I'm going to be floating around with Susan joining teams, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, why why aren't you just on a team? 
Because he's because in there with you Susan. Can't, you can't oh, segregate him from Susan. Susan very well. Yeah. Because, now, tell him how comfortable you are. Because Susan. I'm too comfortable in Susan's office. <laughs> there's a there's a comfy have chair. A cat, a cat on your room. lap or something? Yeah, it's the cat. I know on your the lap, chair yeah. Richard is sitting in, and oh, that no, chair is comfy. The <laughs> that is a very comfy chair. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I can oh, get my oh, husband to trade it out for that awful chair in the living room. This chair is superb. It reclines right back. It's got cushions. It's got a blanket. I tell you what, I don't want to leave this. And a cat. Chair. Peanuts. <laughs> oh, got... nice. Looks like you're running a bit low. I've got beer. Oh, it's Australian nice. for beer. That's a good chair. Australian. Yeah, it's <laughs> Australian Peanuts and beer. beer. It's a cat. I've got it made. And Susan appears on the Skeptic Zone podcast this week. You might be surprised to hear. What? Huh? How did you? Uh, how did you get the opportunity to do that? <laughs> you did probably you had to plan a lot. Did you hear Susan's uh, tribute to Harriet Hall in the last episode? I thought it was very good. It was wonderful, yeah, it's very and, uh, especially the uh, the very end. I uh, I must say it. It mm. I shed a tear. Yeah. Mm. I'm the one that recorded it, and I shed a tear too. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I absolutely. Go, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I'm listening to this and I'm tearing up. Sorry, you guys. I have my cats have, um, you know, I put that uh, cat door in that, that relies on the chip in the cat's neck, and you have to put batteries in there. And I guess I've had cheap batteries in. So the cats don't, can't, I'm struggling to get in and out today. Mm. We weren't sure if it was the chip or if it was the batteries, and so I had to go find some batteries to put in there right now. And well, it's the, the battery be able inside to come the in cat. And out. Hmm? Yeah, it's the battery inside the cat you have to change. <laughs> yeah. Well, it could be. All right, so we're back. Well, we back? You have to sure take the cat and just the rub it up against the furniture a whole bunch of times to recharge the battery. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> 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 Actually, that would be a great entrance. You just teach the cat to... Rub up against the door a few times to get that static charge and then go in. <laughs> I used to have a wristwatch that Karen, wound, hi, wound itself when you made enough motion. Hi, Gail. Yeah. Shake the cat a lot. That's still a thing, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, Seiko. Yeah. I think Carl is demonstrating his. Yes. Seiko discontinued making the kinetic when the solar cell technology became better. Mm -hmm. and the kinetic technology we're talking about science again well, what if you uh what if you tape them. a piece of bread to a cat <laughs> and it just perpetually spins forever and ever well <laughs> when you wait, if you rub the cat if if you rub the cat can you put the cat on the wall and it'll stay there <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, that's great i Playing with things. Okay, I need to stop. Playing. You guys are cruel to cats, boy. <laughs> oh, well, you know, anyway, no, I need to make sure that they could come and go so they can go do their business outside. Yes. So, come yeah. in. so I had yeah, to. You don't let raccoons in. Yeah. The, this is no so picky. She doesn't let raccoons in. I, 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 who took I, those yeah. raccoons? <laughs> I, I rewatched Guardians of the Galaxy uh, just yesterday, and I kept thinking of Susan's house for some reason. Oh, <laughs> I'm just oh, nice. waiting for the raccoons nice. to stage a revolt. I think they're in planning right now because they can't get in the door anymore. <laughs> they're well, going to steal a collar. You could tell they've been trying to get in because there's muddy yeah. prints on the back. Ooh. I think they're up to something, Very Susan. Perfect. I keep your eye on them. Do you know what to do? Do you know what to do if raccoons or a possum or anything you think it's coming in through your pet door and you're worried about closing them in versus out. Do you know what to do in that case? <laughs> you, put up a sign, you put up move, a sign. Move, you, you, put, you put flour down, put flour down move. and you see which way the pot, the tracks are going. No, you put a sign up, do not oh. enter. It was a picture of a, <laughs> of a, of a raccoon. And raccoons are intelligent but enough to read it. Yeah. yeah, they're very respectful. <laughs> yeah, to sign. Hey, is, yeah. Besides Gail and besides Terry, is there anybody else I have not put on a team? Me. You're on a team. Stop. I know I'm on a so team. So I, I, I have really good news for you tonight. So all of you guys who just every time I come into your team and you just get like, oh, it's Susan. So when I go into your round and you get all discouraged. Richard will be coming with me. Yay. Richard Yay. So I'm just letting you know how exciting Ooh, that is. A double Ooh. flooding contestant. Can I, change, can I change my category? So can I change be, my he category? He should be on top of what I was thinking. 
What? I have to change my category because Richard's not going to know any of these. <laughs> I want to do U.S. president, so you better not. Mm. Caspian's still out of town. You should do that category when Caspian's here. Okay, mm. so let's hear your guys' team names because we've got Bob, <laughs> Jim, Ron, and I'm putting Terry on this team. So what are your team names? The jury's out. The jury's out. Yes, but what are your team names? <laughs> <laughs> So the jury's out on what? Badum. The Metzger is it the Metzger trial? It's it's cryptic. It's just a it's just a word picture. Oh, okay. All right. So it's not anything it's doing with own interpretation. Not got anything that's doing with anything we, that we know. We, we phoned it in, okay? Yeah. All right. Faith and Romero, Jamie, Karen, and Kyle. Our team is Fetterman's Confession. Uh, the progression of his depression makes a good impression. Oh, wow. See, that, that's just trying too hard. Wow. Yay, Jamie. <laughs> okay. That's We're the, opposite of the progression of, of his depression makes a good impression. They say. Oh, just like, wait for our team name. Oh, <laughs> they say that this has really been a game changer for mental health. Yeah. A big, good. huge man like that powerful mm -hmm. and all that is coming th through and saying i've got depression let's deal with yeah. this now they say yeah. that seems to be yeah, sad that, that he had to have this happen to him but my gosh yeah. well, well the I, fact I, that I congress it. could do that to someone is just you know beyond words <laughs> i mean if stallone is dead maybe betty white is still alive i don't get it so on Squaring the Strange, they talked about the thing where there are these clickbait things telling you celebrities are dead who are not. And and the latest oh, one is Stallone. Oh, I miss that. Uh, oh. Is there a new Squaring the Strange? And, uh, and Francisco Franco is still dead, right? I'm pretty sure. Maybe Betty White is still alive. Somebody sure. check. Maybe that's where Peggy went. She went driving to go find her. Hmm. Bill, Janine, Zeke, and Gail will be on your team. Two, so two social tome come up. What? It's oh, a typo. Way. Two social two come up with the team name. I kind of like tome. No, you have to go with it as written. <laughs> yeah, that's what tome. <laughs> so two, social, two social to me come up with Tome is good. Name. Actually, I had two social to name ourselves. Yeah, that's, that's what I had, but that's fine. <laughs> that works. That all works. Okay, Alan, Carolyn, Carl, and Leonard. Marjorie Soylent Green is not made from people. Oh, that's so good. That's good. Oh, my. Richard and I, you guys, you'll have to listen to the video. Oh, my. But Richard and I, while you guys were off <laughs> team names, we were coming up with things, topics that you guys would have picked a team name for. And that was finally one. Yeah. And that was the only one we came up with, huh? So um, nobody came up with. Um, uh, See you later, red states. Don't let the Mississippi hit you on the ass from the way out. We yeah. talked about it. Richard, Richard and I talked about uh, divorcing, uh, the states divorcing because of her. And I said, you know, I think she's clever as a fox because she's just one of however many people, 400 people. And we've got, and she's got it. You know, she's got people right. talking about her all the time. And every time she does this, she fundraises. Yep. She's, she's just going to be she's just one vote you know what i mean and we're she's many just, many trump with a skirt right she is so <laughs> awesome. all right so here's the great here's the here's the gist you guys richard and i were talking about this today there is we are on episode 40 so that means we have 12 mm. more rounds and we're in year four I find that hard to believe but that was i hadn't really thought about that richard goes when do you hit when do you hit year four? And I said, I, I think in June. That's just crazy. We've got 12 more weeks. So we're in four years of this. This is almost so, real. Just only we begin the fourth year. In starting the fourth year. Yeah. Crazy. So we're on game 149, season three, episode 40. We are seniors <laughs> in college. <laughs> well, unless you're in cartoon years, then we're still freshmen because they don't age a lot of them. Anyway. So we have tonight, tonight, the jury is out. The jury is out versus 
Fetterman's confession of the progression of his depression makes a good impression versus, oh, you know well what? Well done. Just asking Mark. Who is it? He picked the winner last time. Hold on a minute. Mark, you got a second? <laughs> Come here and look at the, I'm going to read out the team names. I want you to tell me who's going to win like you did last week. Yeah, Susan's giving herself so much work. She's got to edit all this out before it's published on YouTube. Oh, no, it's always clever. Even to have it, oh, look at this. <laughs> The, we, we took all these measures to keep the game a little shorter. I know. But... And now we're adding things. We'll go, we'll but go it's faster. Mark. <laughs> but it's Mark. It's worth it. I know. Okay, so I'm going to read it's these like names. It's like Congress cutting spending and then spending more money. <laughs> because of... I'm not going to tell you. Okay, there so I'm is. just going to read the names out to you, Mark. Are you looking at yourself? No, you're you? on. <laughs> you're on. Mark, I'm going to read these names out. You tell me without looking at who's on the team, which is going to be the winner tonight. He's one for one. The jury is out. Versus Fetterman's confession of the progression of his depression makes a good impression. Versus if Stallone is dead, maybe Betty White is still alive. Versus too social to come up with a team name. Versus Marjorie Soylent Green is not made from people. That's it? Those are all the choices? <laughs> who's going who's gonna to win? It's the shortest one. The shortest one is the jury's out. Okay, I'll go with that. Okay. Oh, the ones who took no time. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Let's see if Put no thought it. into it. And, and you were all, oh, you guys, what, what is that? What are you doing? Okay, so that's Bob, Jim, Ron, and Terry. You've got an edge. The psychic has just predicted that you guys will win. Just saying. It's just, it's just that much um um science you behind you guys it. wait till you get the easter egg on the podcast this week oh yeah it's very good so pay attention to the end all right so we're ready to start we have tonight who's leading us our team leaders tonight are ron who's done a category before but i think this is only your second or third so i hope it's all about luann ron followed by jamie jamie how's how's tomorrow is friday okay we're all alive Tomorrow is going to be a nice day. Okay, thank you. <laughs> for you guys. Okay, good. Rob, you're third, <laughs> and it's going to be about. It's not going to be about U.S. presidents. He's teasing us. Um, so all of you guys out there googling quickly all the presidents. <laughs> it's not going to be about presidents. Maybe it might be about first ladies or something. I don't know. Shut up. Shut up. Maybe it it's be, about wallpaper. It might be about. It might be about. Flag. Tiny about tiny pictures. Shut up. No more guesses. Yeah, it could be. All right. Janine is fourth. You know that, right, Janine? Yep. Okay. Followed by Carl, who's doing a bonus for, for this time. Oh. A lot of time. So let's see. I've wasted a lot of time talking. So let's see if we can cut back. So go fast. Ron, you've already got your, your powers. Let's see what you can do. Um, Kyle's going to be the troll monitor and the muter. Go for it. Okay, I was originally going to do this one on the greatest uh, Jewish sports legends, but I couldn't get anything after the second <laughs> question, so I gave up on that. <laughs> so, the category for today is Ben. 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 And that's okay. all I'm going to say about it. Okay, okay. I was going to sing a Thanks, song, Ron, I'm honored. I, I better not. There you go. We have them on our team. Okay. Been there, done that. <laughs> so I expect you Ben to do three, really, really two, well on this one. one. <laughs> okay. Ready. Unmute yourself, Ron. So what happens when you don't do this very often? Oh, so you're okay. volunteering to do it more often. Got it. Everybody's Sh listening and we're recording. Sure. I was on mute. Um, okay. Number one, and pardon my pronunciation, but Jorge Mario Bargolio's BFF until December uh, 31st, 2022. Number two. The French Chef, Remy and Linguini version. Number three. Finally, somewhere we could land, he said. He answered, no away. No away. 
Number four. Three's not in the chat. Oops, sorry. Yep. Number four. Tis but a city upon the Avon River, but in Perth County, Ontario, Canada. Number five. Boarding, bordering Austria and Hungary, this is the only national capital that borders two sovereign states. Number six. Medea and Absurdus, Absalon and Amnon, Stannis Baratheon and Redley Baratheon, Son Goku and Raditz. Number seven. See if you can get this Star Trek reference. Number eight. A pear-shaped island, part of the Lesser Antilles chain known as the Emerald Island of the Caribbean. Number nine. If beer fame in himself didn't exist, he would hate everything. He is cynical, selfish, vain, quick to anger, and prone to bouts of violence. Without Pig, the world would have given up on him long ago. He sometimes writes children's books. And number 10. Where Dr. Christian Zell drilled a babe. So those are your 10 questions. Uh, if you get the theme, I think it will help a lot. <laughs> okay. But um, there, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna, so send them to the rooms, you guys, and I will put the two people who haven't got in the rooms in the rooms. If it made and I get to float, huh? You got the you've got the powers, dude. You've got the power. And I have what do we do? I seem to be stuck. I'm, uh, I'm stuck. I'll take too. care of it. So Kyle, where are you? You seem have too. you have powers. I don't oh no, seem you to. don't have powers. Didn't uh -uh. I make you have powers? You said it, but then someone else got them and they did the muting. Okay, <laughs> you've got them now. All right. Okay, so that's Kyle. And then Gail, I needed to put in her room. <clears throat> and Gail, you are in. There it is. Okay, let's see. Here's, here's where it is. Okay, Gail, you are in one, two, three, four. And Terry, you are in one. Which room do we go to? And we go to one. And Jamie, you are in number two. Two, but why aren't you in there? Oops. You go. I will. Okay, you can go. Vincent, why aren't you in your room? You're in three. Okay, so Richard and I can go to one. Where's oh, Deborah? Oh, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> I came here late just so that you guys. I mean, know. are these all people named Ben? Um, I assume. I don't know. The, I don't know the Ben connection, but oh. uh, uh, number four has to be Stratford, Ontario, where there is a uh, where, where there is a Shakespeare festival. Um, I have to do with ben. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, seven, of course, would be Cam, Nooney, and Singh. And Can somebody paste the questions again into the chat? I, I suspect might be that's obscure enough that I'm not sure that it's what he's after. Okay, you should be able to see. Okay, that. Terry, you're on mute. Uh, Richard is on mute. Uh, yeah, I'm, oh. I'm going through Susan's microphone. So he'll okay. always be on mute. Okay. So what is a did voice we know for in the sure? Wilderness. Which one did we know for sure? Jim? Stratford. Okay. Well, number four just has to be Stratford. Uh, uh, it, there's a Stratford, Ontario, that named after the original in, in 
in England, and of, and of course it has a Shakespeare festival. Um, and then seven, what could it be but Khan, Nooney, and Singh? <laughs> I don't know. What you're, yeah, what are you saying? Okay, two. There. No, two. I was. I just don't know what Khan, Nooney, and Singh is. That's the character's name. Who's played by Ricardo Montalban? Okay, well, someone else you know, needs to write it down. Okay. If you, if I if you can get this, but what is it he means? Because it could mean. I don't get Ben. No, not yet. Um, so if seven is about Khan, the character played by uh, Ricardo Montalban, maybe the answer is Ricardo Montalban. Oh, okay. I see what I mean. What was the name I of the movie? Yeah, see, it, it, it's the, not enough. Until we can get the theme, I'm afraid a lot of these questions aren't going to make sense. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, okay. Tis but a, a city upon the Avon River. But um, okay, so let's see. There was a Ben Johnson who was a contemporary of Shakespeare, and he was one of his in his troop, one of his actors. Although that is a bit obscure. Yeah. And what would that have to do with a? a city? Yeah, that's too. Yeah. And uh, number nine makes me think of a of a comic strip with, uh, uh, and there's a character in it, Rat uh sort of fits the thing and without pig the world would have given oh you're talking about pearls before swine yes nine yeah rat and pearls before swine would that have something to do with shakespeare yeah is that a reference in shakespeare pearls no before it's, swine? it's uh, from the gospels it's uh jesus said it yeah don't cast the pearls before swine no it's don't yeah Waste your time on people that aren't gonna. Yeah, so this is pearls before swine. The, yeah, the, the rat, rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, there's a there's a comic strip called Pearls Before Swine. The character is rat, which fits the description. Right. So it's okay. They, okay. Okay. I got. Listen, they all contain the word rat, like the movie The Ben was about a rat. The kid that Rat, had all these rats. Yeah. So Stratford yeah. has rat in it. Yeah. Rat. Oh, that makes sense, uh, Bob. Because Ben um, is the is the, the Michael Jackson. The wrath, thing. the wrath of Khan. W R A T H. So they all have the letters rat. Okay. Oh, perfect. Right. You guys got it. I've, I've done my. That's all I got. And okay. he put that uh, arrow put... rat. Uh, uh, number three is Mount Arrow Rat. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And he put okay. that question nine in there. You know why? Because Ron knows that and Ron is a big comic strip fan and he knows I'm a very big comic strip fan. So he figured I'd get it. Jim picked it up fast. But that's okay, why. What's the island? And then it's going to have R-A-T somewhere in the, yeah. the answer. So what's the I? So I don't. Okay, so it's got the so strap okay. is right. The Wrath of Khan is the answer to that one. Mount Arrow Rat. The French chef Remy in the new uh, uh, What is a, a capital, state capital uh, in uh, national capital? Hey, is number two Ratatouille? Oh. Yeah, Ratatouille. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, ah, because good. the, yeah, the characters were, yeah, uh, Remy was the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. See. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Did we does get anybody know who jo your Jorge Mario no. Ber Bergoglio? Bergoglio. Bergoglio. Yeah, that means best friend forever. Yeah. 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 yeah best. Yeah. So, so his best, best friend must have died. Was that who died on December thirty first? Betty White. Uh, no, that, that was January. No. Uh, so who? Yeah, somebody died right at the end of the year. Who was that? Yeah, we oh, were all like, "What?" Chef, remember? Everybody was talking about it. Yeah, he was a traveling that? chef. He traveled all over. Anthony Bourdain. Bourdain. 
There's no red. No Bordering Austria and Hungary. This is the only national cap. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I think I know this. This is Bratislava for 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 uh, five. Oh, oh, you pulled it out of the hat, man! Yeah, I would never yeah, have gotten Radislava. that. How do you spell it? R A T. Okay. Is it A I or A? Bratislava. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We got it. Okay. Spelling yeah. doesn't matter. So we five is Bratislava. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yep. The Emerald Island of the Caribbean. What question is that? Eight. Eight. Pear-shaped island, part of the Lesser Antilles. The Emerald Isle of the Caribbean. Okay, so, so it's got R-A-T somewhere in the name. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so just think about the, those islands. Um, uh, Mark Olson. Oh, there's lots of them. Um, who died? Who's the person that died right at the end of the year? Right on the. We said, oh, shit. Screw you, 22. You know, we thought we were done. And who was does it, that? Oh, does it? Uh, does anybody see how Ben connects with this? Yeah, because that's the movie uh, Ben about the, the rat. Kid that had, his friend was a rat. I almost started singing people. the song. Ben, yeah, it was the Michael Jackson. Michael ben Jackson Lord. sang the yeah. Okay, I don't. Okay, I, okay, <laughs> I, okay, I don't. I don't know the flick, but if you're if yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. As soon as he said he said Ben, I almost started singing the song. All I right. said, better just keep you know, my mouth shut. You, know. uh, you mean I keep thinking of the movie Willard with the rats. Yeah, well Ben was the uh Willard was the uh Willard was the character who had all these rats and Ben was the sequel. Oh and okay. Ben was a rat. Willard was the boy who had okay. his friends were rats. It was like Carrie. I can't believe the box social outcast, that. but we got a work on answers wow i don't i don't know where so I'll hey bob up. bob yeah. absalom absalom and amnon were in the bible how were they related yeah. but uh were they brothers um absalom because amnon seduced his half sister yes who was and he was absalom's full sister and so he took revenge yeah. He, he okay. Be, okay. I'll let it go. Okay. Yeah. So Medea and As. Okay. Medea is is out of one of the Greek myths. Uh, they, what do you call? What do you call um, arch rivals or, or enemy mortal mortal enemies? O r t a. No. We got it, Ron. You thought you were smart. I know you put question nine in there for me. That was just for you. I told yeah. you. <laughs> uh, but I'm not the one that got it. Jim picked it up. He read it and figured it out. I said, uh, oh, pearls before swine. And he says, yeah. And when we were talking about it, I said, well, it's a rat. And then as soon as I said rat, then Bob said, I know what it is. So everything's yeah. a rat. Were they um, orators? Were they, they orators? Orators, O R A T O R S, were they speakers or orators? Or or orators. No. It's got rat in it. Yeah, Dumbo but I, and rabbits. That's from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I don't know what that is. So I think they were enemies. Oh. Rabbits, I think, was the bad guy. So I think these are all people arch Nemesis? rivals. Nemesis. Nemesis. Yeah. What, what's a what's a term with with R A T in it? Um, antagonist. Oh, antagonist. Which okay, Stan. Okay, Baratheon and Renly Baratheon. That makes it sound like they're brothers or something. And Absalom, they, have, they already have rat in them. 
Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, but the but the other uh, but the other pairs are uh, okay. Medea and are, are we getting close? By the way, since yeah. no, uh, we, we, we have two teams that are blowing through it because they figured out the theme very quickly. Um, and then there's smart, the other, the and, and then there's one team that's calling us a lighthouse effort. So <laughs> is that is it the team that Rob's on? Yes, actually. Okay. How did I know that? <laughs> okay, so it's awful how we 10. get together and, and try to stump Rob every week. Yeah. So on question no, we're got 10 the team, theme, but yeah, we got the theme pretty quick after the, the second theme, answer. But we just don't know the, we can't so get So on question theme. 10, it says he drilled a babe and babe is capitalized. I like the pig. Oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah. I was thinking of Bob, I was thinking of big blue ox named babe. From the oh old... well, there's that, but I can't see what yeah. that would have to do with a rat and where, where I oh, thought this was book. some guy who drilled a pig. He drilled a pig. No. Well, that was in New Zealand. So, if it's it was the name a of a babe. place, and it wasn't a babe. Well, well I guess we got, babe, anybody know way. the island? No. It was um in New Zealand. Oh, it was. Okay. I'm just, yeah. I I'm was, never said where it was from, but I no, know it was filmed in New Zealand. Know. They didn't say it was, where it was from. Well, we each got one. Okay, let's see. Think a second. Where, doctor? Or I got two. Christian I got the wrap. I got Schnell. Okay. So, did anybody? Did, Why is it capitalized? Did anybody get one, six, eight, or ten? Because that because those are the ones I don't have anything written down for. No, we didn't. No. Well, we know one is that guy, and we can't think of his name, the one that died right at the very end. He was a chef. Yeah. Dr. Christian. No, it doesn't say he was a chef. No. Uh, well, there was a guy uh, who died right at the very end who was a chef, yeah. wasn't he? Okay. Well, wasn't there an actor that died on the 31st? Switch, stitch, or switch, stitch. The musician guy for Ellen, he killed himself. Oh, I do remember that. What was his name again? I don't know. Yeah, you're but right. He had some name like Swiffy or Switch or Stitch or Switch, but I don't remember his real name. Okay, so we don't know. No, Nemesis we don't know. Six, we think they're nemesis. Yeah. Hasn't got right in, has it? Nemesis. Okay, we know that eight we we can't emerald isle of the caribbean like oz <clears throat> um no i don't know that one are we are we close here trying no still no no, so no. Might be, we know we've got what four that for, we don't we know, know yet yes. yeah we might have to just let yeah, if everybody else is kind of where we are, then you might be able to. Well, so so far, every team, at best, with the exception of one team, and we all know who's on that one, um, We're it's pretty pretty much <laughs> having the same thing you are, which is they're having a lot of trouble. I think there's one team is just blowing through it. Last I passed by, so I don't know how much longer before I call go everybody back. Them. Go ahead and close, close them. them. Close them. That mean, gives us two more minutes. Go to the main. Go to the main thing and then hit close go to the main room mm -hmm. yeah uh how do we get back to the main room you have powers well i know I, that's it that's not a is that i'll oh, just leave room okay go to leave room mm -hmm. okay yeah. drilled a babe okay babe is capitalized so well who's dr christian's zell doesn't ring a bell good so that's why i was thinking maybe he's the person who who authored a big blue ox or, or or the show with the pig. Yeah. But, um, which was but called it's a place. Babe. It's where it, we're looking at the same of a place. Yeah. Where was that movie was fictionally in set it, in it, Iowa? I don't think it was stated where it was. Oh, darn. Do we know where Babe the Big Blue Ox was from? Minnesota. Okay. That's got right, isn't it? Minnesota? <laughs> Is there a city <laughs> in Minnesota? Is there a city in Minnesota with a rat? It it's not it, though. I don't know. What okay. Well, we got six, maybe. Could it refer to a woman? Is there a woman named Babe? Could it be the vulgar? That's her mind, when I might. 
Okay, when it says where, could it be a children's book? It could be Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Drill the Babe. Drill the Babe. I'll be interested to hear the answers. Yeah, remember that definitely. Black Mirror? Remember the Black Mirror episode where the guy had to fuck a pig? No, uh, for some reason, yeah. I don't remember that one. It was the Prime Minister. I, I was not. I I was not expecting the end of that sentence. Okay. <laughs> For a guy had to. Okay, what's this? Oh no. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Richard knows. Richard knows. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's weird to see Richard. Right I, there. I don't care. I just like oh. That would be yeah. That. I if I would have guessed, I would not have guessed that, that was how that would end. No, it was a shocking episode. I I I can imagine. I'm a little shocked hearing about it. One of the, the most frightening episodes of any television I saw was an episode of that. And it was called, um, it was shot in black and white, and it was about robot dogs. Oh, yeah. Gosh, was that was a good horrifying. show. I, yeah, I love Robot that dogs, like Boston Dynamics? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it it was, was, if you ever see it, it's truly horrifying. It, it is. Spine-chilling uh, bits of uh, TV I've ever seen. I just can't yeah. think of the name of the episode. Emerald Isle of the Caribbean. Anyway, it's it's it's. Brilliant. You guys did great. Thank you guys because I had no clue. So good job, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. Well, it sounds both of you guys were real. All three of you were. Well, spotted. Susan, it sounds like you would have. Say we need more time. Yeah. I, that was that was interesting, Ron. That was an interesting. That was round. Hard. Thankfully, we got the we got the clue right away it was lighthouse it was a lighthouse yeah <laughs> we're, we're, hey, that's what we thought <laughs> we could I also use it. time if people want we it we could but, use some know. time too no no hi robin well, we got new people but we didn't have time to oh, well. allow them to read the questions and contribute well there yeah. were no questions yeah yeah, right. yeah. Well, you're up <clears throat> the, okay the so it really made me think of the uh uh Think of the uh, the bell in uh, in London, but uh, no. <laughs> but, if, but well, it had nothing to do with it. Well, you dirty the, rat. Yeah, for the, the for the groups that figured out what the theme to this was, they got through most of them. If you didn't figure out that this was all about the 1972 movie called Ben, Ben, which is, oh. the two of us. Which is well, Michael Jackson. Hang on a moment. I'm getting this here. It's a sequel I, to Willard. Yeah. I've never seen that movie or really even heard of it. It's heard, all heard about it. Ben, who was the rat leader of the swarm of rats trained by Willard Styles. And yes, it's the sequel to Willard. Um, <clears throat> so the theme to this is everything in it has the word rat in it. Oh, you said Ben. That is R A T in a row. Yeah, the the word yeah R A T in a row. Okay, so instead so, of that... so for number one, the Jorge, our good buddy Jorge, is Pope Francis. His best friend who died was singer Joseph Richard Ratzinger right was Pope Benedict. Second. Yay, faith. Oh my gosh, that's good. As listeners to the skeptic, to um, the ESP would know. Yes. Right. For number yes. two. So wait a minute. Yes. We, 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 we said Pope we, Benedict. Though. Is that good enough? We said Pope Benedict. No, it's got to be rats and jerks. It's, it's got to have rat person. in it. Really? It has to have the rat in it. Yeah. We call much, him Pope Bettine. Yeah. Much like <laughs> number two is Ratatouille, the movie. Yeah. Those are the two characters. Oh, yeah. Remy is the rat and Linguini was the chef, the human chef. Yep. Number three oh, is Mount Ararat. Yeah. Hey. Where hey. Noah's hey. Ark landed. Very good. Number four, I think most people got. I tried to throw it off with the fact that it was the Stratford that is in Ontario, which has its Stratford Festival and the whole bit, but it's and it's also on the Avon River. Yeah. Well, as somebody who grew up in Ontario, it's it was hard to miss that one. Yeah, I kind of figured that that there would be some people would have an advantage That's there. We, have, we keep the Canadians around. Yep. Number five. 
<laughs> Bratislava, which is the capital of Slovakia. Uh, <sighs> Number six seemed to give a lot of people trouble. I didn't see if anybody actually got it. But the answer, if you look at all these brother folks there, they're all brothers, and they killed one of them, killled the other one. Therefore, it is fratricide. fratricide. Oh. 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 oh, I heard a lot of people Fratricide's talking about brother. brothers and brother, uh, you know, brothers not liking each other. But oh, yeah, they, oh. well, well, media well, would well, media would have been the sister, so she killed her brother. Yeah, she killed her. Sorry, yeah. I mean, she killed her brother. So it's a matter of killing a brother. Yeah. Well, let's just see how our score goes, uh, Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to throw that in as one of the clues at one point, too. Oh, but ooh. Num number seven, which no, I think most I'm people got, it. is the Wrath of Khan. Oh, my goodness. What, did we you get, get that one? Or, in this case, the Wrath of Khan. Okay. Or or when the round is called Ben and you know that Benedict Cumberbatch played him, you answer that. <laughs> yeah, I saw a few Benedict Cumberbatches floating around in this one. Wait, Benedict Cumberbatch played Khan? Yeah, in, 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 yeah, the, in the newer in, Star Trek yeah, movies. Are you kidding? They yeah. remade that? In the abominable, so yeah, just, sort of. Yeah. yeah, not very great. Yeah, Richard says, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> well, number eight is oh Montserrat. Oh, nice. Yeah. And wow. number nine, I put in there just for Susan. And Jim is the one that picked it up on it quicker. This is the character Rat from Pearls Before Swine. Thank you, Lon. I appreciate that you're thinking. He's listening. You guys write the category because you with me in mind because you know I'm going to be on your team. And number 10, which I'm not sure I've heard anybody get, but oops. Um, <laughs> Was Marathon Man. Oh, no wonder I didn't get it. Oh, Dr. Christian Zell, played by Laurence Olivier, and Babe Levy, played by Dustin Hoffman. And Never he drills them as a dentist <laughs> to torture him. Do you accept Rat Skeller? Is it safe? Is it safe? <laughs> exactly. It safe? I was almost going to use that in there as one of the clues, but he I went with this one. In one of my rounds for the AF 500 best movie quotes. Yep, I was I've really. It, it was a toss-up between the two, but I went with this one instead. Very and that, clever, Ron. Very clever. So, did Very I clever. kill everybody? Yes. Yeah, well, well, this, this is the first lighthouse time we, moments. We, this is the first time when the name of the category threw us off and gave us a basically a zero because we were looking <laughs> for Ben and everything. Yeah. Well, sorry. Yeah, Ron, we didn't see. We we got rat, but we, I didn't know the why rat related to Ben. Well, yeah. I mentioned that because it was the Michael Jackson song. There, there were two two groups that I was in to on that. where I, I heard not. the aha moment where they were looking and say, oh, I see rat. I see rat. I see rat. Ben was a rat. Now I've got it. <laughs> Clever. Let's and then there were other groups that you, you just should have watch, Leonard, you should have watched watch more crappy movies in the seven. <laughs> Go back to the seven. No, thanks. And watch crappy movies. Okay. <laughs> So let's go from the bottom up. Marjorie Soylent Green is not made from people. Nine. What? Nine. Okay. What? Which one did which one did we miss? Uh, we missed uh, the cartoon nine. character, right? Yeah. Yeah. Should be watching our cartoons. We missed number nine. Cartoons. Oh. My God. Two, two social. Soon. What do we decide? We're gonna name this. Two social. Two. Come Three. up. Three. A team named three. We got one. No, we got Mount. But we did get Mount Air. Yes. No, we got three. We had yeah. Ratatouille. Yeah. We had Route Ararat and we had Montserrat. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If still is dead, maybe Betty White is still alive. Yeah, I was we trying to remember one. the times I looked at the map of the Caribbean and think of <laughs> one. We did, you hear, one. did I hear you say one? One. Okay. Is that plus or well, minus? We got Ararat and we got Montserrat. So at least two. No, uh, we didn't write Ararat down. Is there a plus or we're minus on that? For ben, for there was no ben, so give we didn't write it down. All right. Everybody. Fetterman's confession of the progression of his depression makes a good impression. Four. Okay, the jury is out. That's uh, 
I got six. I got, got six, six here. Six, six, yeah. Six, yeah. 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 That's okay. good. Score of 4.6 on average. Good job, Ron. I thought it was clever. Okay. Yeah. I, I joined that round. <laughs> I, I wanted didn't more Ben. Clever until I got the, the theme. <laughs> All right. Co host oh, Jamie, you are up. Okay. Yay. Okay. On these. Uh, okay. The, um, my category is metal. 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 Okay. Three, two, M-E-T. One. M-E-T. Yeah. In the chat. Metal. Unmute yourself, Jamie. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Okay, number one, the Washington Monument, built between 1848 and 1888, has a nine inch metal pyramid mounted on its peak. Before its installation, this metal pyramid was so unique, rare and valuable, that it was displayed at Tiffany's jewelry store in New York City before being placed on top of the monument. What metal was this a pyramid made of? Jamie, could you could you paste it in and then we could read along with you? Okay, sure. If that works for you. Thank you. Yep. I'm okay. Okay, you got that? Number one? Yes. Okay. Oops. Okay, number two. On which planet in our solar system does it snow metal? Oh. Number three. Many Asian countries use chopsticks. Thailand is one exception. Most are made of bamboo or wood but one country exclusively uses metal chopsticks. Which country is this? Number four, copper was first used by man over 10,000 years ago. During the Roman period, the name copper was derived from the name of a country where this metal was principally mined. What country is this? Number five. During World War II, copper was a strategic military metal. In 1943, what metal were U.S. pennies typically made of? Oh, uh, Kevin's going to be so sorry he missed that question. I'm here. Okay, N number six. This silvery colored metal is solid at typical room temperature, but will easily melt in your hand if held tightly. The nitride compound of this metal is used as ultraviolet sensors to monitor the disinfection performance of UV water purifiers. What metal is this? It's funny, but I can hear your, your, your screen. Yes. You just have to. That's for UV sensors. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Seven. Mm -hmm. Most countries in the world use 220 volts. A few exceptions include the USA, Canada, Japan, and some others, which use 110 volts. 220 volts is used as a cost savings when building homes. Why? It's cheaper. Number eight. 
Number eight, to make stainless steel, what metal is added in the highest concentration to iron? I was gonna say, I mean. <laughs> You'll learn all about stainless steel. Number nine. In public buildings, doorknobs and stair banisters are often made of brass. Not only does brass resist corrosion and rust, what other number one important property does brass have that makes it ideal for this application? And finally, number 10, it takes a ton of ore to get one gram of gold. But if you can get the same amount of gold by recycling how many mobile phones within plus or minus 10? That's all folks. Is number 10, how many phones? Yep, how many phones? Okay, good questions. We have never had a category ever on metal. Good. Panels. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So Susan, I'll yep. I need your help to um, fling. To fling. Okay. Maybe. Well, I'll I'll try flinging myself. But okay. Somebody want to open the rooms? There we go. Kevin. Ah, Kevin needs to have a room. Kevin is going to go on. If Stallone is dead, maybe our Bob room still alive. Thank you. <clears throat> I, I work for a sheet metal company. Oh, okay. but I only know a few of these answers. <laughs> We're going to room two, Susan. Yeah. <laughs> so number one, Susan. I only know the chopsticks and um, the metal on the first one. Karen, uh, aluminum. Oh, it's yeah. aluminum. You're in America. Speak American. It's aluminum. None of this aluminum shit. <laughs> Even Neil deGrasse Tyson says this is America, bud. What it's was aluminum? Three, Karen. I only know number one and the one about chopsticks. What was okay. chopsticks? Korea. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, is, Korea. And which what's, one? Which one? That? I thought it was diamond, but that's three. not hmm? Here, let me. Pull them up in the chat. Oh, Richard, I need to give them to you. So yeah. what planet snows metal? This is a bizarre question to me. I don't yeah. know. I, I mean, uh, Venus has the temperature she melts metal. Because you have a lot of pressure at the others, but that's not going to have surface level effects. And yeah, uh, there's no... Uh, Venus is my best guess too, I guess. Venus... Jamie, can you move from room to room? Yes. We have um, the question. Let's see. Like that, I guess. Yeah. All right, we can come back. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. What before? Where was copper mined? What country? I think it was Africa. Africa during the Roman period, the though. Yeah. What's it have to do with the name? Okay. But I'm I'm guessing. Actually, I don't know. It's just. A vague bell ringing. It was derived from the name of the country. Oh, the name copper, and you said it was cobre. Uh, it's the Spanish version. Yeah, cobre in Spanish. Yeah, could be Spain. Now come to think of it. Okay, shall we put Spain? Well, I mean, I, I no, I was saying that maybe since uh, Spanish is close to Latin, mm -hmm. that would give us a clue. It's. I suggest we write it in for now. We can revisit it. Okay. What did we say number one was? Aluminum. Aluminum. Well, aluminum. all of us except Ramiro said aluminum. He says <laughs> aluminum. And Richard is Richard says uh, aluminum. I think Jamie's not accepting aluminum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's closer to he's closer to Australia right now. <laughs> Maybe he's requiring it then. <laughs> okay. So what were pennies That's made out of? Were they just in 1943? Was it nickel? Could have been. I think so. Nickels, nickel covered with a little copper. Maybe. But nickel, I think, is the answer to one of the other questions. Oh, Adrian's showing up. 
Well, we'll get to that. Number six is gallium. Well done. <laughs> he knew it. Say it again. Gallium. Gallium. Gallium, yes. We have some gallium in our closet. We, we have gallium in our house. Okay. Really I had asbestos in mine. <laughs> we probably in our ceiling. Um, number seven. Why do does everybody else besides us use two hundred and twenty volts? No idea. Why no is idea. it more cost effective? I didn't. That's not my understanding of why it's like that. So I don't know. So what's the question? What's your understanding? Silver colored wood metal is sold at typical roll. What did you guys say for six? I think you said it right. Nitric gallium. 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 Yeah. We're we're trying to figure out why. My understanding is the difference was almost arbitrary. But but why? Even though it's yeah. arbitrary, that's not. Is you as a cost savings though? I don't see how. Well, what's because the difference? There was like, is there a different metal? One, 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 um, it was uniform across the entire United States. Like there was one manufacturer that was. No, I mean, he must be looking that for. Was already, a metal. Maybe there's a manufacturer that was like already. Maybe the metal that they use in the two twenty volts is is a better conductor. Could be that might be something I don't know about. Yeah. Okay. Every I thought everyone would use copper for wires. For the longest time, yeah. Okay. To make stainless steel metal, what metal is added to the highest concentration to iron? I thought that was nick. I thought that might be nickel. That's why I was. That's saying what I had in my head too, but I don't he, know why. He came up with chromium. I thought chromium. Ooh. Okay. Sure. Chromium. Yeah. Because I I think it would be. You'd have issues with people that have nickel allergies. It it and, does have some nickel in it. It's just a matter of is that the highest concentration. And there's that line in uh, Allentown by Billy Joel where he says chromium steel. Yes, yeah. chromium, chromium. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, is that why somebody said? That, Take that, Kevin. I'm giving you a run for your yeah. money. He said, Kevin. He, Kevin's going to be disappointed. He's not here. Mm -hmm. So there it is. is here. There we go. He gave it away. So oh, and that was um, Rob, right? Yeah. <laughs> in public buildings, doorknobs and banisters are often made of brass because it's cor resist corrosion in this other property. Antibacterial. We, we were thinking it was yeah, antibacterial. That's right. Because of the copper in it. Because copper is a natural and is antibacterial. Excellent. If you remember in COVID time, the beginning, that's what they were talking that about. Everything was given us. Uh -huh. Oh, man. And we have no idea about number 10. Can you get the same amount of gold? It takes a you ton of ore to get, to get a gram of gold, of gold. But you could probably like take gold out of 100 cell phones and get a gram. A gram. I mean, we need to know how much gold per phone. And well, I see, don't he, even... he wants plus or minus 10. So couldn't it be something as simple as like 50 or 60? Could be. I would yeah, think that, I, would, I would go based off of the magnitude of the plus or minus. That's the only clue I see here. Yeah. 90? 80? 2, <laughs> Something yeah. less than that. That's a little... 60 or 70? It goes 70. I think that's a good good guess. Yeah. So 70 would give us 70, 60. I mean, based on what faith is. Yeah. Posted, which, you 70. know, not to put. I do what Ben uh, or Carl does is that if it's a small number like that, then we're Did not you getting. Carl, you call him Carl. You call him Carl. No, I, I heard Kyle. Kyle. I heard you say Carl. No, you heard you, him, Carl. You need to go you, get. You heard him, Carl. Go to the recording. She Let's. Said you him, I, I, the, I almost called him Ben. Plan. I almost called him Ben from the trauma of the last round. <laughs> okay, uh, which, I've been called what, a rat, but never Ben. Number two is the only one we don't have. Okay, so okay, two. Venus. I thought we guessed Venus based on what Kyle said. I don't think it's Venus. I think it's I think it's either Neptune or Uranus. Why? Because. The high pressure. Hello. Then go for Jupiter. It's the biggest. It Hello, Ariadne. Because I know there's some gas giants that rain diamonds. Two kitties. 
You they have know. diamonds. Yeah, I mean, I, I know some people that claim to shit roses. <laughs> oh. oh. Number, um, I can invite him to trivia. Ex, ex boyfriends of mine. Oh. Mm -hmm. As long as he's not peeing it. I don't know. I That's a I sign know. of diabetes, actually. With the thorns on what, it. Peeing roses? Uh, Could number seven be sweet smelling uh, urine. Yeah, but yeah, it smells like roses. Yeah. <laughs> Could number seven be smaller wires? Could like the the equation well, is v equals yeah, IR. V equals IR. Yeah. All right, we'll go with smaller. Someone's wires. in love with Richard. Staring. He was Ten staring at you a second ago. Oh, okay, and cough savings. That makes sense. That's a good guess. Yeah. Okay. I think you nailed it. So Read the answer. So hold on, number two, what are we going to go with? Are we going to go with Venus? I'm not att strongly yeah. attached to that. I mean, not 100% sure, but uh, it's hot enough. And um, well, it's but, hot. But why would the pressure allow you to allow Does the beers own any planets? Hmm? We can go with Venus. She's the goddess of love or so whatever. We'll go with Venus. Sure. Because I know that humans can technically live in, if you could build cities in the sky of Venus, humans could live there. Well, we raining liquid there. Uh, Richard has something. What? Well, I, when they said raining metal, I, I thought me chunks of metal, but of course it can rain liquid metal. Well, yep. it's talking about so snow, so it's cold. Metal, and I can't think what it is. How are you guys, how are you guys doing? We're, We're almost done. We have one we're think... talking about. It's I think that frozen metal is what it's talking That's about. That's high pressure environment. But what if it's well, Pluto? I, I think that it has to be hot enough for the metal Pluto's to evaporate, not a planet. and then for it to condense. Jamie, how well, everybody else doing? Solid. It has an identity. Well, right. Um, that because of the pressure. But where where yeah. is it coming from? Maybe um, maybe we should give a two minute Probably warning. Probably for the kept home. No, home. just sure. close the room. Main room. But then the pressure yeah, is going to keep it from evaporating. Well, I would suggest high enough. Because that gives two, that gives two minutes close to two minutes. Okay. Yeah, you, you want to give the two minute warning? Yeah, I'm close. Do you want to close the room, Jamie? When it's higher up and, and I, I, I don't know how to like do it. Water. Okay, let me do it. I can do it. I can't do it. Do you want to go with Venus? I don't know. I mean, that's the best <clears> I have. It could be wrong. Oh, good. Thank you. Okay, would you please read um the answers that we All have right. kindly? Aluminum. Venus, Korea, Spain, nickel, gallium, smaller wires, chromium, antibacterial, and 70. Okay, one more time. Aluminum, Venus, Korea, Spain, nickel, gallium, smaller wires, chromium, antibacterial, and 70. 70. Okay, and so so number seven about the smaller wires. Yes. Okay, take it's it takes small the wires are small. The wires are smaller for twenty convey right uh, mm -hmm. two hundred twenty volts. Yeah. Two, two, and the fact that we money. make our houses out of wood kind of probably negates the cost savings. Yeah. And what and what do we guess for ten? What do we guess for ten? Seventy. Seventy. Okay, yay. Okay, would you like we you've got sixty seconds, plead your case. Is the microchip in the collar? No, in the neck. Yeah. In the neck. I mean, a gram of oh, no, exactly. that the, the door Yeah, how much? Uh, I have to program it. So, what would you pose, Ramiro? Because how much is an ounce of this gold? This is a thousand dollars. Yeah, but seventy thousand dollars worth of cell phones. But it's not <clears> like five thousand dollars for an ounce of gold, right? Approximately. And then so, what number would you propose, Ramiro? You might not get any ounce. arguments. Okay. Yeah, do your own now. stoichiometry and just give us a number. Ramiro, what number would you pose? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe I would pose. to equate an ounce to a gram. No, I, I wanted to convert an ounce to a okay. gram and then divide that by the number. Of you got problems. 16 seconds. Do you want to say a number, Ramiro? Uh, marriage is uh, 10 seconds. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go with 70 because I, I don't have enough time to okay. calculate it. Okay. Good job, team. Thank uh. you. Okay, is everybody back? Yeah, you should do that too. No. Oh, oh, there you are. <laughs> so I'm not, I just, back. I'm not back yet. Adrian, I, just, <laughs> I just wanted to say uh, to everyone that I think everyone here, especially Adrian, is uh, a friend and that we've been uh, a lot 
together. Oh, and Jim as well. Uh, and that I've been through a lot, especially with uh, Larry passing away and my mom's uh, friend passing away, because I think I was part of that here as well. Yep. And wow, I've just once I've been through a lot and just say thank you to everyone that was there for me. And um uh, it's 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 because my mom she's getting the beginnings of um alzheimer's mm. so i am i am going to need you guys even more than ever mm. well your mom's lucky to have you yes she oh, sure is. thank you <laughs> yeah. she sure is vincent yeah vincent, that's true you, you take good care of your mom and I you're a, you're a, you're a <laughs> compassionate person and and she she's got the right son yeah. is it just me or is it is it just me or did other people think that this is going to turn into and i just really want everybody to know that you're being recorded <laughs> yes oh, no. That's right. i totally I thought that oh. I'm sorry i'm a little of skeptical vincent no I, I <laughs> no but remember I, that Did very not. warm message from from Vincent has yeah. been recorded, so everyone can get <laughs> that. Yeah, that too. But that is a warm message that I just wanted to just it just you know. Well, thank you, Vincent, for thanks, for Vincent, including us in your life like that. I appreciate it. Thank you. We have yeah. become a community. We're almost at four years. Oh Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Never well, missed Thursday. My God, what the heck's yes. wrong with us? And I'm going to try to recruit somebody. I'm oh, so hoping good. I can. That'd be fun. He's a neuroscientist. Oh, dear. Wow. He is, he is from New York, and he's a neuroscientist. He went to coffee with us today, and I, he, he seems to be a really smart guy. So. Hey, Bill. I hope so. Because our categories are... We need him on, we need him on our team. Yes. <laughs> Okay, Jamie, you're up. What do you think? Okay. Okay, you guys. Um, Ariadne, what do you think? Okay, I'll set num number one. Uh, the Washington Monument built between 1848 and 1888 has a nine-inch metal pyramid. The metal that it's made of is aluminum. Aluminum. It's Otherwise aluminum. known as aluminium. Aluminium. Richard says it's aluminium. Alum Correctly aluminum. known aluminum. as aluminium. In, in, yeah. in, in, during aluminum. that time, aluminum... Aluminum Anywhere but the United States. States. Neil deGrasse Tyson disagrees with all of you. It's pronounced aluminum, and I have the TikTok to prove it. <laughs> aluminium. Yes. So it was. It time. was shortly after that that the uh, Hall Harrow process was figured out. <laughs> yeah, it takes it takes a lot of um, energy to extract aluminum from sapphire from aluminum oxide. So it was after 1888 that process was developed. So that's why- Where was it developed during... in, Jamie? Excuse me? What country was it developed in? Two, was, countries. Was, two, two, country, two, two countries, US and France. Two so people figured aluminum. it out about the same time. So it's aluminum. <laughs> yeah, aluminum. <laughs> just, just check it, it wasn't in Australia, it wasn't in the UK. Okay, yeah. so in the debate, just as Neil deGrasse Tyson says, and his faith says, End of debate. It's aluminum is created here. It's done. Yeah, but it, it takes it, but it takes so much electricity that when we were traveling in Iceland, um, the big one of the biggest industries in Iceland is aluminum refining, because they make electricity out of um, hydrothermal uh, geothermal power and hydroelectric power, yeah. and so um, yeah, they use hydroelectric power to produce aluminum. So Iceland is yeah. a very major producer of refining yeah. aluminum. Yeah, look up this. There's a website called electricitymap.com uh, and you can uh, click on countries and see where their electricity comes from. <laughs> yeah. So Danny had, had a chance plug to in the one. wall. Question two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Faith. That's so okay. So number two, on which planet does it snow metal? The answer is Venus. Oh, yay, Kyle. Yeah. All right, Jim. So yeah. it snows um, it snows lead and bismuth on Venus. Uh huh. Number three. Okay, well, uh, you, Krypton, not Krypton. <laughs> <laughs> Krypton's a gas at uh, standard temperature and pressure. 
Uh, uh, number three, which countries use metal chopsticks? Uh, there are no chopsticks here in Thailand. In Thailand, we use, they use spoons. They shovel, they use a fork and spoon, but they, they shovel food with a fork onto a spoon, then you use a spoon to eat. That's how they eat here. But in Korea, mm -hmm. they only use metal chopsticks. Which Korea? Check. I guess either one, probably both. Chicago. Oh, it goes back. We can't. Yeah, Korea goes back north. It goes back hundreds and hundreds of years of using metal chopsticks. Yeah. Like, like I said, the, the answer is Korea. Korea. Korea is a good answer. <laughs> That's yeah. the answer. Number four. For copper was first used um, over 10,000 years ago. The name copper was actually derived from the country of Cyprus. Oh. Okay. oh. Yes. It was, it's a Cyprian thing? metal because they, may, they, they could mine a lot of it there. <laughs> yeah. It was actually called A. Cyprium initially. It was corrupted to cuprum. That's why the symbol for copper is CU. It stands for cuprum, which is yeah, a corruption of the word Cyprus. Hmm. <clears throat> Number five, um, World War II, copper was a, um, where am I? Number five, copper was strategic metal. What were US pennies made of? Number five, they were made out of steel, steel pennies. Oh. Oh. As shown in my photo. Yep. yep. I thought that was but, just a black and white picture. Yeah, but nope. there's um, but if someone can find there's 12 1943s copper pennies copper. that were made by mistake. They're, they're extremely valuable. And they're worth about a million. The last one was sold for like 1.2 million dollars. Wow, I know so, there was the cheapest one was 43,000 when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, and now it's one, yeah, like 1. Yeah. 1.2 million. I think there's like three or four left. Yeah. Which are unknown. So look, look in your change for 1943. Yeah. Beware, 1943, huh? Yeah, and kind of, sort of related was that uh, because copper was in short supply, the Manhattan Project borrowed a whole bunch of silver from Fort Knox to uh, to to make wires for. <laughs> something. They borrowed it. <laughs> well, well, yeah, they returned it after the pro project was over. <laughs> They did. Okay. Yeah. When, when, I, when so. I was a kid, when I was a kid, I used to take 1943 steel pennies. I used to copper plate them when I was a little kid. <laughs> and, and pass them off, pass them of off course, other, you did. <laughs> yeah, pass them off to coin collectors saying that they were 43. Copper oh, pennies. isn't it like uh, when you win the Olympic gold medals and you're so proud of it that you have it bronzed? Yeah. It was a. I didn't think that. Somebody from one of the Slavic countries did that. Yeah. So num number six, um, this silver colored, colored metal is um, solid at room temperature, but it'll melt if you hold it. And the nitride of the material is used for ultraviolet sensors. Um, I actually have a patent related to this. That's why I put it in. And oh. the answer is gallium. Yes. <laughs> Woo -hoo! That so, was the barrel, right? Yeah. So gall gallium nitride is a material which is used for ultraviolet sensors. That's what it's used for. Yeah. Um, number seven, most of the world uses 220 volts. The US is one of the exceptions. Why? The answer is because wires are much, much thinner. You save copper. Yay. Okay. So 220 it. volts uses far less current. So when you build a house, the wires are thin. So in our house here, we're actually having some work done. And I was amazed at how thin all of our wires are. In the US, if you take off a electrical outlet, the wires going to it are so thick and heavy. Hmm, but okay. the US, yeah, the US wanted to support the copper industry. So the, the copper used, there's a lot of copper being used on wiring. When Overseas, you mix the two, it causes fires too. Yeah. Uh, but here. Yeah. If you put use I, aluminum wire on, on on fixtures intended for copper, you need a thicker, a thicker wire for aluminum. So you yeah. it's likely to break or or something and not not yes, so fit properly. Right here, all the cop all the wires are very thin copper. But all of our houses, there's no wooden houses here. Our house is made out of steel and concrete. That's all the materials. Th there's no wood here at all. So, number eight, how do you make stainless steel? Is you add chromium to iron. Oh, iron and coke, chromium steel, and yeah. Aaron Allen. Oh, hey, thank but you, my Rob understanding Palmer. is. That Rob yes, gave Kevin. Us that answer. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. You mentioned okay. Billy Joel. So 10%, 10 to 30%, 10 to 30% of steel, stainless steel, is chromium. And it's because when you add chromium to steel, the chromium um, 
rises to the surface and oxidizes and you get a very thin film of chromic oxide and that chromium oxide resists rust of iron yeah. oxide. So chromium is used, that's yeah. how you make it. Yeah. Number nine, yeah. Number nine. why is um, brass used in public buildings other than corrosion and rust? It's because brass is antibacterial. Yay! Oh, yay, Carl. I wrote down <clears throat> antimicrobial, but I guess it comes to the same thing. <laughs> same thing. Same thing. It's called the uh, oligodynamic effect. It's when the, the metal ions of brass are uh, toxic to molds, viruses, bacteria, and other living cells. And that's why they, and that's why uh, they use copper sheathing on on ship bottoms to prevent barnacles from yeah, growing exactly. on the ship. Yeah, when we uh, when we lived in Boston, we had a large koi pond, and I bought a system that injected copper ions into the water to prevent any algae growth. So copper is used for that purpose also as an algicide. Boy, I don't know any of this stuff. Yeah, they and, use that. They use that in swimming pools also. Really? Yeah. And silver. Well, um, they use silver also. We had a hot tub. We use silver ions also. Let's see. Uh, number so 10. Okay. 10. Number 10. It takes a ton of ore to get one gram of gold. But how many mobile phones does it take um, to get the same amount of gold? The answer is 41. Uh, oh, 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 we guessed more than one. Oh, oh, that's all. Leonard's yeah. Leonard, you're off by one. <laughs> yeah, so that 30. number, of course, is. You know, depends on the phone, but yeah, yeah, of course. But gen, on, but depends on, the average. on what brand, yeah. yeah but on the average, so it's, the answer is like thirty-one between thirty-one and fifty-one. There's a, there's a lot uh, of gold that's being used. Do, do you do gold. you have a source for that? Yeah, just go on the internet. I read it. Yeah, there's like internet. go on the internet. Go on the internet. internet. Where do you, you get a, a bookmark? Give a bookmark for the internet. I'm trying to find. It. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, Where's stop looking. We got it right. Oh, so are steel we pennies points. worth anything then? Oh, what was the question? Yeah, they they're worth about two or three cents. The just because they're a wheat cent, but sometimes yeah, if they're it, really in good shape. They're worth hundreds of dollars. Yeah, in perfect shape, but not too many of them withstood. <laughs> they're worth above yeah, average. The yeah. zinc coated steel, the, the zinc prevented some corrosion, but it's. I've got the one shown there, 1943S, that I paid $1.75 for when I was a kid. It's probably worth about six or seven dollars now. It's like, wow. Oh, Whoa. You know? But well, you the, have to have like a lot of them, you know? Well, the coin which I really want is a 1944 steel penny. There's only a few of those that exist. I'm, I'm more partial to this. Silver manganese nickels that have no nickel. Yeah. It's, it's interesting yeah, when, the... when, when they say with these coins that exist because they don't really know. People throw pennies away. And so, you know, they may have known how many were minted, but they don't know how many still That's are actually point. available. Anymore. We don't know. Yeah, don't some know. collected put, yeah. put a 1909 coin back in circulation to see if someone would find it. And they've yet to report that it's been found. Yeah. Right. They, they took that priceless coin and put it in one of those tourist things that you grind it. And it mm -hmm. <laughs> They stretch it out. out. <laughs> the Does that make it worth more or less? Put her on yeah. the railroad track. Less yeah. run over it. Yeah. No, some child well, swallowed it. Jamie. Somewhere. Good job, Jamie. Okay. Yeah, okay, good job, Jamie. Okay, so let's go to where we all want to go, which would be the floors. I, I thought about doing a category on metal once because I work in the metal business, but I, I would have come oh. up with different questions. Um, mm -hmm. well, that's that's mm -hmm. fine to have different questions. That's the whole point. Yeah. All right. So if still nine. dead, <clears throat> nine, nine, you got to get that out, huh? Yes. The lead for a moment. Yeah. All right. Two social to come up with the team name. Six. And let's go with Fetterman's confession of a progression of his depression makes a good impression, which was ten. Ten. Seven. No. I think you said ten. No, we said seven. Oh, okay. And let's go down here to the jury is out. I'd, I'd call it. I'll. I'd call it nine. Um, I got. <laughs> how did you? How did you get nine? I got seven. I got, got seven. Seven. Eight. seven. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, we, we didn't get wait the minute. resistance one. Okay. Okay, so that would be good. We missed seven, oh, eight, and ten. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, 
Right. Uh, we we were wavering over nickel or chromium, and we ended up on nickel, not chromium. Yeah, we talked you out of it. Yeah. Aww, okay. Mm -hmm. So Marjorie Soylent Green. Eight. We have a leader. Hey Vincent, which one did we miss? Da, 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 da. We uh, missed. We put aluminum for seven. Uh, okay, so yeah, we missed nine. Auto. Yeah. Everybody, look your best or try. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> again. Aw, <Wow>. airhead. <laughs> uh, but Richard, you're not in the picture. Yeah, I cats? Know. Can we get cats? Okay, ready? Everybody, look here. One, two, and three. Hey, let me snap that picture. Snap that picture. Snap, 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 snap that picture. Oh, that's a good one, Faith and Mary. Did it work? Yes. Yeah. So, no, I didn't get my picture. Did, in it, it. Okay, today is the 23rd. So, oh, 2, 23, 20, 23. Are you sure it's the 23rd today? Well, yes. It's almost the 23rd. Oh, but I made you look. Not where Jamie is. <laughs> but it is here. Okay, so let's. let's oh, uh, I just had one more. I just had one oh, more thing yeah, to sure. say. Just you can one let him more. out for his treat. Okay, just one oh. more. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Don't forget that we're being recorded. I just yeah, don't forget we're being recorded. <laughs> and being and recorded. I have I have noticed from Peggy. She says we made it, and I made it home this evening. We had some snow, but lucked out because the roads were pretty good. I was nervous because she didn't want to do chains. But <laughs> she but just they, went up there and drove back in like no time. Wow. Yeah, they made it home. So okay, well, I feel better. I was so worried. Why isn't she here? Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like, say, hey, sounds like she probably just got home. I don't care. She should be on Zoom. Anyway, <laughs> let her know. No, nope. you are really such bad. A vicious not, taskmaster. I'm surprised she's not here because she said I got home, and I thought, well, you got home in time for trivia on purpose, obviously. So text <laughs> Robin, text her. I'll text her too. Get her over there. So <laughs> All right. anyway. But I feel better because I was really worried because we have trees down and roads closed and power Oof. out and wow. snow like we don't have in Oregon. So it's really a mess. Yes, yeah. my, my friend in Gold Beach is, she said they had four inches as of yesterday. Yeah. So she's lived there like 20 years. She said that's the most snow they've ever had since she lived there. Yeah. And that's near that's near the ocean, kind of. I mean, yes. it's right way closer than you. Right on the ocean. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Portland had Portland had record snow. I think it was the second deepest snow they'd ever had in Portland. Yeah. And it's all turning to ice right now. We're going down to 19 degrees tonight here. Oh, oh you don't want to drive in that. It's no. a snow with a sheet of ice. Actually, things melted. And then it's freezing. So it's yeah, a like don't, a perfect don't drive anywhere. Disaster. That's that's the worst kind of thing. No, it's a mess. That and your tree branches will break. Every yes. year they've got pictures of cars and buses sliding down hills in Portland. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't know how to drive snow, but um, yeah. So anyway, I feel better. I'm glad she made it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, uh, if we're taking a break, I guess I'll uh, say good night to then. <laughs> She's gone. I'm in trouble at last. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Jim. Bye. Good night, night, Jim. Good night. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name. There's a city in Minnesota that's right on Lake Superior. Um. And it's really a, like a steep hill. And I, I was there in the summertime and I thought to myself, how did these people deal with this place in the winter? I don't know. Oh, see. Oh. Is it Duluth or Marquette? Duluth. Yeah. Is it, I think it's Duluth. Let me okay. see. Anyway. Yeah. Look at, I'm gonna look at my map of Minnesota on my phone. Let's see. Uh, Because it would surely be very, very slippery the whole winter. Gee. 
Definitely Duluth. Definitely Duluth. Cute place. Cute place, but I wouldn't want to drive there in the winter. I've been through southern Minnesota. We drove across the country on Interstate 90 uh, that goes through southern Minnesota, uh, but never been anywhere near the, the northern bit of that state. But you can get cheese curds at just about any restaurant, <laughs> any diner or anything else. What's a cheese I, curd? I didn't try that. I have no idea, but that's what they, they call it. They put it on it. French fries. And it was one, delicious. One third of a poutine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's made out of, but it tastes good. It's you had me a cheese, Leonard. <laughs> yeah, it's just, that's, that's, it's, that's, it's that's extremely what fresh too. cheese. And when you eat it, it squeaks. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it, it it's cheese and yeah. So well, why not? I, I believe it's yeah, cheese. It's, it's cheese, cheese curds. Cheese. It's made from the way the cheese processing is cheese curds. Mm -hmm. No way. Oh. <laughs> I hear a chicken. Oh. So I'm looking at I'm looking at recipes for them and they look it looks like kind of misshapen, kind of like those mozzarella balls, but they're all kind of mission misshapen. Yeah. And then people people batter them and deep fry them okay yeah, that's what it looks like but what is it there it's curdled it's curdled milk it's part of the cheese making process you're left with curds and whey well, no it's not liquid. like cottage cheese this and is curds, actually so curds are the it's 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 a byproduct of cheese making and it's rubbery and, and squeaky and then the whey is the liquid okay yeah. i'm out. Oh, no. there's a baby. Did you guys see the baby? Just born one day old. Oh, beep, 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 beep. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Just born. There's two. Oh, here comes Mike Wolf. Let's see what TV's going to be going. I, I believe the term is hatched. hatched. <laughs> and apparently, yes. according to Bob, contrary to popular opinion, you can't count your chickens until they're sold. Hatching has <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mike. True. You got here just in time, Mike. Hello. Well, you're in darkness. Hold on. Darkness, my old we're, friend. We're holding. I'm here, okay. With you there again. he is. Susan, you know what I would be interested in if, if someone likes doing things like this? It's kind of a grid or graph a graphical representation of how we came to be here. Like who is connected to you that ended oh. up being at trivia. Oh, that would be interesting. Would that be like one of those things where you have like lines? Yeah. Like Susan, and there'd be a line like, to like the only we had a data story to to monarchize <laughs> these people who are connected the, to the, the Rob Palmer the branch. Team. And then yeah. and Janine, uh, Janine yeah. and then Janine, and then the skeptic yeah. camp. And, and like Rob and the Kelly invited Peggy. Robin invited Peggy. I invited Jane Felton, you know, just kind of. interesting. Uh, Robin invited We'll send and do that together. That's what we'll do. We'll have a little. Listen, if somebody, okay. if somebody pulls the data together, I'll put it in a database and make a visualization. And all that. <laughs> Wait, can we do that? Someone else has to do the data collection. That's the hard part. Then I'll if do someone the makes part. A, If, if someone makes data. a Google Sheet right now and shares it in the chat, then everyone can, can go in add. and just put in their yeah. single data oh, I'll point. do it right now. Or Hold Kyle on. can do a survey. Make it free. <laughs> <laughs> like a family <laughs> tree. <laughs> Good idea. So, we'll need a survey. Right here. so three questions. It's called a triple store. You need the first entity, the second entity, and then the relationship. Okay, let's do that right now. Let me wait. See. I thought Carl made the uh, surveys. No, I, Jose, hey. It's the other Carl. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. The Carl with the K. It's Carl yeah. and then the Kyle Carl. <laughs> Kyle Carl. I can do that. You won't believe it. I was mm -hmm. doing that the other day too, Carl and Kyle. I, I think I've inherited Susan's brain for some reason. Oh, that's scary. Kyle should change his name to Kyle with a K. 
So I have to learn. <laughs> if I order food here in Southern California at a Mexican restaurant, my name is Kile. Kile, oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. what should we call it, Karen? And I need is to be like a, a, what, uh, uh, Leonard. 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 Mm -hmm. What would we call this? What would we call this, you guys? The family Connections? tree. Yeah, the family tree. I like that. We call it a graph or a network in computer science. Oh, that's very network, boring. Yeah. I like oh, the okay. family tree, Adrian. And Kevin said the family tree. Social trivia with Susan family tree. Or the Alliteration. suspect list. Trivia tree has to be. Or all the murder trivia stories tree. where they get the suspect. It could be a working down. title. And when okay. we get the big aha, we could rename it. The technically, a tree is a different type of data structure where it only branches. This is more of a graph, but I get the feel for it more, you know, colloquially. <laughs> okay, I'm two, degree, two degrees of trivia. Um, social, what are they call, what are they call social those trivia by Susan. <laughs> And graphically speaking, okay. There you so go. I the chat when they have all the suspects I on the put wall. It in the chat. The red line Does that open them. for you guys or no? Yep. Yep. Okay. Now we Whatever. need three categories, right? Entity one, entity two, and the relationship. Look at that participation you've got already. So what do I say in the first category? First column. I would um, call it entity one. Well, or just your name. Sure. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Person one, person two. Individual one, individual two. Entity sounds paranormal to me. Okay, I came two here for two left. reasons. It was it was Rob and Susan. So okay. what would I do? Ooh. Because Rob came from Susan. Oh, okay. But Susan, I met you both Rob. at the same time on my Kevin. Facebook page. Rob, how many reps did it take? Susan begat Ke Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I call the second column? Um, person two. Okay. I think well, I like individual one and individual two. Self, <laughs> yeah, self and connection. Yeah, it sounds like we're all going to... Entity one, checking in entity one. For a judge. Yeah. Okay, the third one is going to be what? We're all going to be subpoenaed. Relationship. <laughs> what does that mean? We prefer entity rather than individual. Can you have uh, <laughs> options for the relationship <clears throat> category? That's the idea. Yeah, that column, then you could fill it in, it, like friend, acquaintance, relative, whatever. Yeah, it fill in? It, yeah. How does it, how does it fill in? I can highlight it, but I can't. I can't print. You oh wait, so so cellmate. Hey, you guys, hey, you guys hey, wait, wait. How do you spell entity? Is oh, it I don't I use entity. Oh my god. And yeah, it's well, read okay, only right now. What do you want me to put, you guys? Come on. Person. E this is what people. N T I. I a person. Uh, right. And, Come on, and, Romero, and, help me out. You know it's schema. And you had it set up entity. for you entity only. Entity in the chat, Susan. Oh. We put entity in the chat for you. Okay, Stop so it. I will change it right now. <laughs> and Susan, it's view only, so that'll need to be changed to editing. Okay. Privileges. I was sent here by a psychic. They told me. <laughs> Came to a, a psychic so, puzzle. So, Kyle, now. does this imply person one invited person two? Um. Yes. I think we need to rename. Or was it invited by. To the so then it would be invitor and invitee or something like that, as opposed to person one and person two. To make yeah. it specific. Where does Thomas John fit into this? Not work. You have your, yeah, it would. Fit. Here's an excellent website if you're really into the nerdy side of what we're no, doing no, right no, now. No. <laughs> this, should be, this should be the six degrees of Susan Gerbeck. Like, you, have, you have the picture. You can do that. It. Yeah. I like it. Is this like mono it. rules? <laughs> Okay, now can you edit? No, it's like an MLM. No. Oh God! <laughs> okay. No, it's still so go up to Zoom, go up to share, Susan. Where it says yes, share. I can edit. I can edit. Oh, okay. I fixed it. So okay. you need I to can um, do this. You need to reload your the spreadsheet to get the new so uh, protection. You can hit F eleven or shift F five. Pyramid scheme. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so now that you guys are playing with that, let's go and do our announcements and let's go back to uh, uh, to the game. Participant connection relationship. Okay, whatever. Karen, you got I think the, the core group, yeah, Karen, you're, you're the, the, the people who've been here since the day COVID started, which is about when we started, um, were all skeptics, part, part of the skeptic community, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's how we began. I think we began as a group of skeptics and we've just kind of drawn in a few other people. That Am I correct? Like something like that. Yeah. Well, is it? Yeah. How Susan, did you come to this game? How did you? I, yeah. I, I wasn't a skeptic when you started. 
That's true. All right, so let's when go. Did, when did Title. you start? What when, wait, wait, you so, start wait, have we converted people? We've converted somebody? A couple. No, but no, just my timeline actually. Jeez. When you guys actually started, <laughs> the I timeline wasn't. is now corrupted, right? <laughs> Susan, I, I, Susan, I can't. I still can't edit. I'm still I can't on. Edit. Did Did you try to refresh? reload? It? The timeline um, was corrupted in 2016. You Just can re, hit re, shift click the F5. link and open the link again. It works. Shift yeah. F5 should make it clear it out. Okay, so Kyle, mm -hmm. you have a podcast, and I, I do indeed. You were talking about the dim. Uh, ah. The experiments, the ESP experiments by um, Daryl Bem. Daryl Bem. Daryl Bem. That's right. Bim, the famous Daryl Bem experiment. Yeah, he was called Feeling the, future. Uh, the test of uh, <laughs> the equivalent of having dirty test tubes. I remember because I wrote that on the Wikipedia page by sure. James Alcott, I think, said it. But you have a podcast. Let's hear what's going on with your podcast. I do indeed. So if those of you who don't know about this famous Daryl Bem study, which implied that there was a slight precognitive ability that people could determine when a pornographic image would appear behind a certain screen, um, really related to the whole uh, reproducibility crisis in the psychology, uh, you know, peer reviewed literature system. So um, as you the reproduce, sorry, the reproducibility crisis occurred. There was a lot of discussion about how to conduct these studies. And I talked to a researcher today who developed this really interesting, not today, sorry, in the most recent episode, talked to a researcher who developed a good protocol for how to reproduce this study and try and determine is ESP a real effect? Obviously, the answer is no. They were not able to reproduce those results, but it was interesting to explore the scientific method and how they came up with a nice protocol where both people who believe in ESP and those that don't sort of agreed on what the conclusion would be and all of that. So good discussion on the most recent episode of Data Skeptic. I knew that. <laughs> and as usual, Kyle, you did a wonderful job as an interviewer. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Kyle, we need to pick another time or another day or whatever, but we'll deal with that next. Sounds so, good. Um, Rob, Wait, Faith and Ramiro are married? I thought they were just two people that sat next to each other on a Zoom screen. <laughs> so, Adrian, I put you down as the inviter, and I'm the invitee. And and Adrian comes from me, so I don't know how you're going to figure this out, Kyle. But <laughs> but I can't. But I can't oh. remember how we met. It was a very long time ago. Long, it's, it's okay. Long it's not really. Ago. It's not really asking for that. Rob, yeah, you know, that's fortunate because I just I can't remember when. Rob, just... nothing to report. No. All right. Anybody else have Get some to work, Rob? Rob. Richard's yeah, hiding behind his phone. I know. I I would call on him, but he's sitting here talking to his phone. I have. Where's he um, filming this? I do have something coming up. I am recording. Thank you, Adrian. Oh, here comes Paula. On uh, on on uh, Saturday, I am recording with Seth Andrews. Oh, uh -huh. and, uh, Adrian got that for me. Thank you, Adrian. And Stephen Colbert's next. Yes, it's Stephen. Oh, Colbert. right. <laughs> what? He doesn't what? know it yet, but Adrian's working on that. Um, Adrian's getting ready to go to Australia here real soon. But Richard, hey, Susan, mm -hmm. Susan, see if if he remembers when he told you you were trouble. Oh, Seth Andrews. <laughs> Did he tell me he was trouble? Was, didn't we see him in San Jose at yeah. the San Jose Atheists? Yeah. He, and we were we were giggling and laughing, and he looked over and he goes, You guys look like trouble. Well, I don't remember <laughs> that too well, but okay. I, I can he wasn't you. wrong. <laughs> Adrian, if you're acting like Susan's agent, uh, I, I'll tell you that they're filling the roles for this next season of Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Can, I'd can watch Susan that. wear one of her goofy hats while she's I'd on? Never oh, watch absolutely. That show. I would watch that. Absolutely. I would, I would watch, watch it the too. hell out of that. Oh my God. You guys can see me fall on my freaking face. Zeke that, that would be, be, that would be the point. Thursday. Zeke, will be, <laughs> Zeke will be guest starring on next Thursday night, right? All right. Uh, uh, March 2nd. Um, Adrian, I understand you have something to share with us. The Skeptics Own Podcast. Is that it? Except Richard's here. He can talk. He's got a much nicer voice than me. He told me to tell you. 
Oh, no, he's just the Vanna White for tonight. He's, he's holding up the not, stuff. He's, he's across the room, so he'd have to shout. Okay, well, to the microphone. so uh, on the show, oh, that's what this is about. He was sending me all these cryptic messages, and he said, sorry, I hope you can get, decode all that. Obviously, I didn't, but now I think I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, there's going to be the wiki project. Uh, he called it spelt medicine, but I think it's alternative medicine. So... <laughs> It's alternative medicine, and uh, there's going to be an advertisement about uh, me doing a talk in Australia because I'm heading there in a couple of weeks. Wow. Oh, wow. I know. And I'm hoping Have to a meet. a great trip. Thank you. I'm hoping to meet Richard in person. This is the trip that got canceled because of COVID. I'm finally going. So Yay. we're very excited about that. And then there's a Trove, which covers fake cures and the newsletter oh yes i'm doing the newsletter and susan gerbeck has to pay attention because there is talk about spontaneous human combustion oh. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> that's kind <laughs> did i do okay richard <laughs> and where can people hear this <laughs> Where can people hear this, Adrian? Uh-oh. On the Skeptic like Zone podcast. Or a, uh, a Skeptic show? Zone. Skeptic Zone. Yeah, thank you, Richard. <laughs> our, our letter. <laughs> <I'm> really <kidding. laughs> Yes. And uh, yeah, I say the URL every week on whenever I do anything. And do you think I can pull it out of my head? I think Leonard had it. Skepticzone.tv.au yeah. or something like that. <laughs> <Richard Obama. laughs> <Richard. laughs> skepticzone.tv uh, I, mean. oh, so I remember it says tv is, is, that, is, is that correct richard he's nodding okay yes excellent that, that was a nod um very good the skeptic zone oh there we go thank you skeptic skeptic zone. Zone. TV. TV. thank there you, you go. and paula i just put a link in the chat that uh you should find out what everybody's talking about we're doing Carl, no, Kyle <laughs> is going to be doing some weird thing with something. Carl can do thing. weird things too. <laughs> oh, <that's my> <laughs> I accept that challenge. Oh, I won't see him either. Anything else I need to know? Anything else coming up? Okay. Put, put your data in the spreadsheet so that Kyle can visualize it for us. This yes. is weird. Okay, and then with pictures, I'm on photos. Yeah, prepare to be visualized. <laughs> and there are photos. There's lots and lots of photos. I have a zillion photos of you guys, and they're all up on the spreadsheet. I committed Susan, to data you have structures, but not mug. photos. Well, I, we gotta have photos. Well, you can add them to its uh, to his visualization. Okay, here's here's the photos. I'm gonna sh I, I will share it so you guys, in case you haven't seen this before. This is going back as far as I possibly can, I think. Ooh, how did you... These are these are the uh, screenshots from yeah, every I've game. Been saving them. Let's see. Will this paste? Is no, it that's... a slideshow, Susan? Oh, Kyle, try to get my best picture. So yeah. okay. Why would it? <laughs> you got to get his uh, animated Aurora in the right frame. Oh yeah. yeah. I like I like the Aurora. Oh, here's where I have to do. It. Okay, so just in case you haven't seen this, you guys, there's photos here. Okay, are we ready to start back? I'm ready. Oh, don't forget Richard Weissman, great podcast on your mind. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, I'm not ready. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> on your mind. Okay, here we go. So we have third. Who's up third? I believe that would be me. I think so. Yes, it would be Rob. And I guess that means I got to make sure you have special powers. So we know it's not pre U.S. presidents, Rob. You can't pull us. You cannot pull the wool over our eyes. So it is not the, party, the parties of the presidents. Presidential parties. Uh, name the political party that each of these U.S. presidents were in when and they first took office. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very simple here. No long oh. discussions. Just the name. Who's in the psychic? And I'm going to give you the the year of the first inauguration. George Washington is number one, 1789. 
Next is John Adams, 1797. Then I'm going to ask you about Andrew Jackson, 1829. Where's Caspian when I need him? <laughs> Number four, Martin Van Buren, 1837. Number five, William Henry Harrison, 1841. Harry. Number six is James Buchanan, 1857, born 100 years before me. Andrew Johnson is next, number seven, in 1865. Oh, 100 years before me almost. Grover Cleveland is number eight he's 1885 number nine is finally getting into the 20th century here woodrow wilson 1913 and the last on the list number 10 is fdr 1933. do we get a do we get the get, uh, the get the ones that put them in or we have to come up with them like if there was something beyond no it. that's it well, at least we got the questions fast. I made up a lot of time. You there guys. you go. Okay. Name the parties. Go for it. Send us away. The winning party? No, their party. But oh, when they won their when they party. won their their uh yeah, I guess it would be their huh? campaign. It was yeah. Okay, let me put everybody in their teams that aren't not already in their teams. Uh Richard, you have your own thing, right? Mike, you're on. Mike, you're going to be on Too Social to come up with a team name. We on room three now, Susan? Yes, we're on three. You can go ahead and go. Um, I'm going to put um, Paula in three. Team three. Oh, boy. Hello, Paula. Hey, hey. We're being recorded. Hi, Paula. Hi. I'm glad I'm you're here. Mm -hmm. she can do this for us because Caspian's not here. Hi. 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 She says she's tired. Okay. So yeah. I don't know. I thought she was high. Franklin, no. <laughs> I think you're high. <laughs> Franklin Delano Roosevelt was a Democrat. Democrat. I agree. That, uh, okay. that one I know. Woodrow Wilson Where? is a Republican. Number 10. Number Woodrow 10. Woodrow Wilson, Wait, I think, was Woodrow a Wilson, Democrat. I would say Democrat. Was he? Democrat for Woodrow Wilson. Okay. I agree with Democrat. I would say for yeah. Washington, oh, I would oh, say oh. there was no party. Yeah. Or no was party it for Washington or something? No, he was no party. There are some, there's at least one wig on here, but I'm not sure who it is, John but it's Adams. not George Washington. Did I spell that right? I'm sorry. Well, I just put D-E-M because I don't know how to spell. Oh, Democrat. Are you yeah, just put Dem. Just put Dem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you spelled it correctly. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, good. Dem. Okay, so. Dem. Um, and Andrew Jackson. Okay, remember the Republicans and the Democrats were flipped. That's right. So that's why I put for for number three and four, I put Dem. I agree. Dem and four is. And there was a Federalist Party. Dem. And I was I thinking think that John was Adams was federal. Yeah, John Adams, I would go for that because he's. Adams was Federalist, yes. Okay. And uh, let's see. So, Who else do it? Do I just put Federalist? I, yeah, number two is Federalist, yeah. Yeah. And number one, we were saying maybe. Is none. No, no none. Party. None? None. Yes. You know, so there's nuns have, that have the. I have one thing that I remember from long ago that I wanted to add for number seven, Andrew Johnson, because he was the vice president after for Abraham Lincoln. So he's yes. a Republican. And Lincoln was a Republican. 
But okay. I think Andrew Jack, uh, I think Andrew Johnson was a Democrat. No, he wasn't. He was that they, they had. He was something else. He was neither Rub Republican nor Democrat. Uh, Andrew a nationalist Johnson, nationalist or something like that. You, Andrew Johnson, the vice president of uh, Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Well, Lincoln was a Republican, right? Yeah, yeah but Johnson was like one little weird thing I remember is that he could he was a different an independent. Did they have that? As 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 national something. Oh. We go back to him. National Velvet. <laughs> That's oh, no, that number, was Taylor. Vincent for number nine. <laughs> Elizabeth Democrat. Taylor. Democrat. Yeah. Yeah. Grover Cleveland. I don't know. I've never really paid attention to these things. I don't. I don't know either. I'm going to say Dem. I think so. Yeah. James Buchanan. I think he was Whig, wasn't he? I don't, I know there's a few Whigs on here, but I don't remember which ones they are. Um, Harrison. He was Harry. I don't know. And he was what? He was Whig. W-H-I-G. Okay, I don't understand what Whig means. It was a, it's a party. party. It was a party. They're like it's the Whigs and the party. Tories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So for Johnson, you want to put national? You think national. It was... National League. It was, you know, National Union. Union, National Union. Not Onion. Or, or onion. Or onion. That's what I put, didn't I? Did you say onion? National onion? Um, no, union, yes. I was right the first time. I, I don't know what the national union is. Oh, wow. Some, but some rooms must be really fast. I don't know what the it's national union party is. Huh? OK, quick. Yeah. James Buchanan. Dem. I don't know him. Okay, do we have all of them? Where's yeah. Caspian? He's we... in the, he's in Hawaii. What, you need Buchanan? to phone a friend. Caspian. <laughs> Sorry. Phone a friend. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. People would look at me as the weakest link. Do you guys remember that show? Yeah, well, you're very uh, helpful filling, right, you know, doing the filling in. Yes, yes, because I wouldn't know any of these, so. Uh. There's, an, there's an E on the end of none for Washington. The big question is, what's Trump going to run in, in the next election? What's he going to run? What, what? I don't think he's going to make it that far. He's going to have his own party if he doesn't get the. No, I think well, he already this. owns the Republican Party. I think within a year he's not going to be able. To run, he won't be running by twenty twenty four. I don't think he's going to be running. Well, goes an independent. He won't back. Well, I don't down. think he's going to be running at all. We have our provincial. I think he's going to be wearing down. orange. Orange. <laughs> I think awesome. he'll be. I don't think he'll be wearing orange, but I think he will not be available. Let's say. Now, I don't so, want to say uh, how it is, but I have a feeling he won't be around to deal with this much longer. I'll say the scores, when, or I'll do okay. the number when we're back. Yeah. Okie doke. Thank you, Vincent. Well, I hope we get a 10 out of 10. That would be nice. But... We didn't uh, have, I didn't even have time to go through all of the lists. That was so even... fast. We never um, even got visited by yeah, that, uh, Rob. We got done. Yeah, yeah, we I didn't don't know either. If that was accidental, but that was way too fast. 
Yeah. All right, all right two more minutes. Oh. I'm going to send you there and done. You guys get on it. We're fine. Yeah, just go yeah. in there and do it. You then guys. sit and visit. We will go back. Yes, we can go back. We want to go back, team. Does my team three want to go back? No. I would, yeah, I think we're I'm going to stay here. I'm not paying attention to the job. Mm -hmm. Should we go back? No. There's no, no, we're good. Job. So. <laughs> Faith, is that a real thing? That conspiracy theory? I, what conspiracy I don't know if it's actually a conspiracy theory. I know it's just like a rumor that I heard. You what? know that she kind of took charge a little bit, and that that she was a lesbian and did what she wanted. You know. Well, and, oh, and well, no, 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 Faith. Yeah. The more important, the more important aspect about being a lesbian was not taking charge and all of that was that she is rumored to have a lover mm -hmm. who was a woman. That's the most important part of the- A lesbian with a female said. lover? I don't know who they're talking How could about? that happen? I didn't think that was allowed until the 1990. The Roosevelt's are very interesting. Like, yeah, Roosevelt. and he had yeah. a person, he had a woman that he had a, a mm -hmm. affair with for a really yes, long time did. that was cool. It was fine with mm -hmm. Eleanor and- you know what? I think that there's a range for what a happy marriage can be. Whatever consenting adults want to do, fine. A lot and of the person who's not married. Yeah. <laughs> a lot and of it could be successful marriages. without being happy. But uh, Ro the Roosevelt mar the Roosevelt marriage was not a particularly happy marriage. She was she was she, she, she tolerated it, but I mean she didn't have much choice. She, she had given up on having baby after baby after baby. She's finally at a point where like, don't fucking touch me anymore. <laughs> that was I mean, he could, well, she she was, it's not it, like I hate to say this, but it's not like he could actually probably get it up at that point anyway. He was in a wheelchair. He no, had I think polio. he could because he even had, he a had polio. I know, but he had another. But that lover. affects the legs, paralyzed. not the yeah. genitalia. Well, what I'm saying is he couldn't like get it up and walk across the room. Leonard loves this conversation. See, Stephen Hawking <laughs> no, had children. The, are we still was, being uh, recorded? I know. Yeah, I believe we are being children. recorded. Yeah, we are being I'm recorded. I'm just saying she probably was like, why don't you get up here and walk over here and say that to my face? I didn't think so. Okay, Rob. <laughs> what do you think so? Rob, so get us out of this conversation. Your, your, your ability, power. faith. Your now there are people still in the room. I think. Adel Eleanor is astonishing. <laughs> this is a new rule: no mention of FDR's polio. <laughs> That's or his, his rule. Or his oh, poll. What are you going to do, Kyle? You're going to wheel over here and smack me? <laughs> That'd be a good category. All right, right, let's give the answers. I think everyone. Sex wise, is a choice. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't do that about Teddy's wife because she died on Valentine's Day. Oh. The light of my life has left the world. That's what he wrote when she died in childbirth. Poor Alice. But anyway. Or wine for faith. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the answers are. The first one I heard some people correctly assessing out, uh, George Washington was not a member of any party. Okay. There was the right. nothing party? There was none. Party the answer is none. No. Okay. If we right. find a source that says he was a Federalist, will you yield? That wasn't a party. That was a sure. belief. No, um, it was a party. And it it was, was not in a party. There were no parties until later. So John Adams, number two, oh, was a Federalist. <laughs> Good one, John. Good one, there Rob. There you go. Andrew Jackson was, oh, by the way, the rest of these, there is, if you have the word Republican written down, shame on you, there's no Republicans in here. I could not type that word out. So there's no Republicans <laughs> in here. Uh, Republican? Yeah. So number, th I, I number three, Andrew that. Jackson was a Democrat. Martin Van Buren was a Democrat. William Henry Harrison was a Whig. I heard people getting that. James Buchanan, Democrat. Then we switch to a party which must have not been around too long. Andrew Johnson, National Union Party. Yay! Wow. Uh, Grover Cleveland. Our team got that. And the last three were all Democrats. Grover Cleveland, Woodrow Wilson, and everyone knew Franklin Roosevelt. So Ooh, I'll paste the answers in. But that was it. Very good. You should have included Thomas part. Jefferson, who was a Democratic Republican. Yeah. No, that was, yeah, I, I didn't want to make you it that confusing. That I know here. that was a weird one, so I didn't put Thank that you, in. Rob, for making a short. And plus, I would have had to write the word Republican, so I didn't want to put that one in. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's got a thing for that. Okay, let's go to scores here. All righty, Rube. So let's go with who's social to come up with the team name. Six. 
And then we will go to Rob's own party. If Stallone is dead, maybe Betty White is still alive. Ben. Yes. Wow. Oh. Yep. So excited about Stop it. The the old ten. I was Stop there the too. Count. Fetterman's confession of the progression of his depression makes a good impression. We got nine. Somebody yeah. was sitting here thinking of that team name for a while, I think. All right, then the jury is out. Three. Oh. <laughs> was it all Canadians over there or what? We <laughs> only have we only have three people. You guys have like six and seven. And- well, because you guys were doing so well at the beginning, you didn't get the extra people. Now we have four. Okay, so Marjorie Soylent Green is not made from people. Nine. Ooh. Nine. And I have, I think, you know, my team can correct me, but for the two social to come up with the team name, I got seven. So did I. Okay, seven. Yay. So my <laughs> biggest use for that category was correcting the score. <laughs> that's a good getting a point. That's a good one. That's a whole point. To, Susan, uh, for team three that I just joined, what was the category, the first category where you only got one point? It was a category called Ben. And and yet and yet Ben was not in the name and of Ron, and it. And Ron was wrapped the category. I'll show you so so we no didn't get the category. The Hence word wrapped was in every answer. The letters R A T were in every answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why it was called Ben as a category is beyond me. But. Because Ben a, was a rat in the movie, the rattiest ben, movie right. of all time. Yes, yeah. I'll watch it; it'll creep you out. I've never watched it, but I know it'll creep you out. Okay, so that was wonderful, 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 Rob. And it made got up some time there. I, I gave it that wonderful six. quick category. You guys take note. That's how some categories should run. Thank you. That's the way. That's the way the marble. Well, I I ran a category one time and it didn't take very long, but yeah. Janine, where are you? Everybody got a ten out of ten on that one. (laughs) I think my category is going to be fast too. Okay, I'm not going to complain. Okay, well, I kept complaining that nobody ever did a category about jeans, so I thought I needed blue jeans. Le- Levi's, yeah. uh, we Gloria Vanderbilt, and, and so Levi. Um, allow me to. I don't have two screens, so. Jean um, Lovepicker. Was Jean the name of a rat? Jean, <laughs> Jean, Jean, the dancing machine. Yes, machine. My prime of Jean. Okay. My prime of named Jean Grey. You mean um, Jean Roddenberry? No, Jean Grey. So, DNA. To mutants. Go for um, your job. Is to... can, can we be muted, please? Name the gene. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 I want to ask Jane, Jane, Who's is that your house powers? or is that a, a background? Oh, it's my house. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you got a it's lives in an art gallery. <laughs> Robin's trying to do it's the background. Thing. With her house. Where's Kyle? Kyle, do the Jean Jean dance machine. Do, 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 do. I have I have paintings in my house too. See, <laughs> yeah. no. I'm this wondering. This is not my house, Robin. Richard, <laughs> what's wrong? There's a bunch of boxes in the background. How's the weather in Calgary? Because I hear it's really cold up and down the uh, the coast anyway. God, is it cold here? Minus twenty eight. Uh, how cold is yeah. it? Minus twenty eight. Kyle, it's so can you mute this when so you... we can get to the questions? Somebody should mute. We forgot I had powers. We're so even it now. when it's minus 28, do you like not go out at all? Do people go just to work? So or do they just stay home? Hurry up and mute. Kyle, Here we go. Okay, who's ever doing the category has to unmute. Thank you. There. Okay, let's see. I... It doesn't want to cooperate with me. Okay. First question. Oh. What? What's this rule for? They're not all genes. I mean, they're genes. Oh, I thought this was going to be about DNA. Uh Uh-huh. 
Okay, mm -hmm. this gene is the only person to have a star in each of the five Hollywood Walks of Fame categories, recording, radio, television, motion pictures, and live theater. And you'll note that I put the years that uh, this gene was alive. And I did that for each for each uh, question. So, and maybe I don't have to switch back and forth. And we love you for it. Let's see <laughs> if I can do this. Okay. But maybe when I hit return, it sends me. Oh, it won't. I have to come back and forth. It's not working. For some reason, it won't post. There we go. Uh, this actor, writer, comedian, and filmmaker, whose real name was Jerome Silverman, collaborated with Mel Brooks and Richard Pryor, as well as appearing in many other films. He's mainly known for his comedic roles. For some reason, whoops, oh, went to the wrong. Oh, crap. This actor, writer, comedian, and filmmaker, did I post this twice? I yeah. did. Sorry, it didn't copy it when I went. Okay, I have to move back and forth between Zoom and, and my file. That's where the problem comes in, apparently. So, which is slow on my computer. Okay. This well-known science fiction writer flew 89 combat missions in World War II, worked as a commercial pilot, then joined the LA Police Department when he began writing television scripts. He's best known for his television series that premiered in 1966, ran for three seasons and then had a sequel in 1987. And that's 19, that's 1991. Okay. It didn't get picked up. Okay, in the early 1900s, this gene was a best-selling American author, nature photographer, and naturalist. She wrote 26 books, including the young adult books, Freckles and the Girl of Limberlost. This American musician's song, Bebop Alulu, hit the top 10 in 1956. Between 1956 and 1957, he had three top 40 hits, then never hit, an, hit again in the top uh, 100 in the U.S. He was a bigger star in the U.K. with eight top 40 hits from 1956 to 1961. This American astronaut was commander of the Apollo 17 mission 
became the 11th human to walk on the moon and is famously known as the last man on the moon. Number seven, this actor, dancer, singer, and choreographer sought to create a new American dance form accessible to the general public, a dance for the common man he performed and choreographed in the film that won the 1951 Academy Award for Best Picture. Oh, interesting. This boxer <clears throat> held the world heavyweight title from 1926 to 1928. He defeated Jack Dempsey in one of the most famous bouts in boxing history and what is known as the long count, long count fight. This American singer songwriter, number nine, this American singer songwriter, also known as Billy Bryan, had 16 top 40 hits, four of which made the top 10. He also wrote hits for Bobby V, Rubber Ball, Ricky Nelson, Hello Mary Lou, and The Crystals, He's the Rebel. Number 10, television personality dancer and stagehand who got us start entertaining the live audience during the commercial breaks on the gong show. He was so popular that the host, Chuck Barris, had him dance on air when he became a re, where he became a reoccurring act and occasional judge. He was noted for his green sweater, flat cap, bell-bottom trousers, and sneakers. That's number oh, wow. 10. Wow, that's a way in the back there. Gong show. Remember that? Boy, they were shorter questions when I wrote them in Word. They were only one line. <laughs> Two lines. So if all the answers, them in there and they get long. <laughs> If all the answers have gene in them, then we should all get 10 out of 10, right? Could. I don't know. I wouldn't have known these answers. I had to go. I had to go. It was really interesting to see you writing popular culture questions. I know. I I can't guarantee. I mean, I didn't know these people till I went searching for them. And that's very Does it have to be the does it have to be this spelling and not G-E-A-N or only they're all genes, G-E-N-E. And you come up with the rest of the name. So, Jean, if there's an, I mean, uh, Janine, if there's an AKA, uh, do you want the name first and last Jean name, or do you yes. want the uh, AKA name? No, first and last Jean name. I, I'm skeptical. I'm going to be looking for words that have RIT in them. <laughs> <laughs> you go right ahead. <laughs> you might be might as successful as our that, team but... was. <laughs> That's too funny. Good job, so, Jim. This looks fun. I don't know. I'm oh, good because I don't have powers around here. <sighs> and then you and he threw us for a loop there with the gene. We thought we we're going to be doing genes, and I'm like, oh, I'm no, sorry, no genes. Well, who knows? Okay, we're going to. Four. I guess I just. I sit here. I don't think I can move around. Maybe yeah, I can. Move around. For some Maybe reason, I can. I'm been jumped into room four with Faith. That's, a, that's where we were. Was it? Oh, okay. Yes, that's where oh, you yeah, yeah. 
gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No, it just yeah. says Faith and Romero are invited. I just saw that and I'm like, never mind. Are they okay. the room? So how do I fling myself trying. around? Okay, so we'll know. go to uh, breakout, rooms. breakout rooms. I think, no way, how do you do it? Oh yeah, I can. I okay. see all the breakout rooms. I gave there. you your powers. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so go That's have fun. Amazing. I might be able to do this. Good. <laughs> Before my time. Okay, we're we go to the top because I didn't see it. Hello, team. By the uh, way, we already answered the first three. First three, we knew that was his name. Audrey and Gene, Gene Autry lived until 1998. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Gene Richard, Wilder. how are we hearing you when you're muted, or is that just a? We're hearing it through uh, Susan. Through Susan's. Oh, okay. He's at Susan's house. Uh -huh. So anyone has the same room anyone has the so if I unmute myself, we get echo. Gotcha. Okay. So anyone have any clue on number four? Not a clue. No, no idea. Uh Gene, I'm getting a gene. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Use your psychic power, Susan. I'm trying, and all I'm pulling up is Gene. Gene. I feel like I came up with half the name. Five anyone? Gene. Be Papalula? I have no idea. I know the song. That's about it. Yeah, I do too, but I don't know. Papalula, be my baby. Or the astronaut. I'm drawing the blank on his Cernan. last name. Cernan. What? Gene Cernan. How do you spell it? C E R N A N. Thank you. Well done, Zeke. It's the husband. Thank you, ah. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Zeke, husband. <laughs> I know the next one. So do I. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. It's gotta be Gene so Kelly. Gene Kelly. Yeah. Gene Kelly. Yeah. It's gotta be. I Gene should come up with that one. I think his there's a ballet performance that he choreographed on PBS right now. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Cool. It looks Anybody know who the boxer yeah. is? No idea. That Gene Tunney. In tiny, tiny, yes, that was that's right. I didn't remember. And any why? How do you spell tiny? Yeah, that's okay. fine. That's fine. Hmm. If it's spelled wrong, it doesn't matter. We still get the point. Um, uh, my husband says for number nine, Gene Vincent. Hmm. Okay, sure. Never heard of him, but that Maybe works for me. That might be also the Bebopalulu one. Since Richard we don't says, have one for that, says number nine is, is yeah, it could be. We could put the same one for well, each but one no, and they, look for one of them being right. Oh, well, yeah, if we think it could potentially, because obviously the years are different, so they're two different people, but if we're unsure, yeah. we can. Go grill that husband. Read those questions both to him. I did read both of those questions. I'll okay. put this one up there for now until we come up with something. Who so obviously it can't be the same person because the, the birth and date. Oh, it right. the same name, You're saying if we don't have another gene, sure. No, I, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it, we could. It could be one of the two, and we're guessing Gene the wrong Smith. one. Gene Jones. That's Gene, 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 the dancing machine. But I don't know. <gasps> Can we just anything? put that? Does that count? <laughs> yeah, she yeah. said. She said. Gene, she Gene, last name. I can't believe you came up with that. Oh my gosh, I remember that now. <laughs> I I never watched the Gong Show. I've never watched it one time. Oh, well, you! I I wrote it down. I'm gonna have to watch it because it was it was ridiculous. There. there were a number of years that I didn't watch TV now? at all, like like Susan. <laughs> 1976 through 1985 is a blank for me. You were in you were uh, overseas. I was in Germany for four years, and then I was in college. So. Oh, I remember the college years for me too. I didn't do. Crap. So that are we college. good on this? I guess Just we have it. Oh, we need an you answer. You were in for... Germany for four years? Yes. Yeah. Stuttgart. We still need an answer for four. Uh -huh. Four and five. Oh, four. yeah, and five, because we, we're not sure of that one. Well, five, yeah. I just put Gene yeah. Vincent because we weren't sure, yeah. but we, we need an answer for four as well. Best selling American be author. Be I thought that, that was they died in nineteen twenty four. I don't know if I'm gonna Six, yeah, so, sort of a contemporary of Mark Twain, that era. Um, 
and naturalist. She wrote 26 books. What was she? Young adult books, Freckles and a Girl. Could it be your last name? Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. Could potentially. But I mean, yeah, because again, they, she said it wasn't spelled G E A N, but. It has to be G E N E. No, yeah. all of these are G E N E. Yeah. Right. But I guess it no, could be your last name. No Gene Simmons anywhere. I know. I know. I was I was waiting for the Gene <laughs> like, Simmons what? question or too. I wanted, I wanted to hear Janine read about Gene Simmons. That would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had Gene Hackman. Yeah. yeah Gene I wrote Hackman. I, I wrote a bunch of genes down when yeah. she said that. So. <laughs> um, huh. I don't have any idea about that author at all. No idea. We could just. Well, say I bet it, I bet it's the last gene. gene. Are you guys close to done? We I, have one more that we need to figure out. I have out. no sense of time here, so I don't know whether to call people back yet. Yeah, give well, us how's everybody minutes. else doing, Janine? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Janine, so. can the last well, name be Jean? Or are these all first name genes? Janine, you um when you I'm not giving clues to anyone, it's pretty simple. Yeah, Janine, <laughs> when you get close to the rooms, there's a two minute. So yeah. Okay. So it's long probably time. we're, we're probably yeah, two, two minutes. We're good. The two minutes is, is good. I like the change to the two minutes a lot. Do you want to change now? Do you want to close it now? Yeah. Yes. But we close. need to come up with our answer to number four. Can I do it? I you know, I'd go with a Carol I or a Margaret four. or a Mary. Margaret Jean. Margaret Jean sounds plausible. Mary Jean. Mary Jean. Oh, Mary Jean. Ooh. Nancy Jean. Yeah, Jean could be a G E N E for a girl, right? No In idea. that era, it could be someone for whom it was a pen name. Do we know number but 10, their real name, the or are we just going right? to go with Jean Jean the dancing machine? I can't imagine we would know his real name. And Besides, we we'll have to see if that Jean. counts. His name is Jean Machine. <laughs> Mr. Machine. <laughs> Oh, and before we, uh, did I write one of them down wrong? Because I did have us, I double checked. I had us as six for the last round. What What did I write down wrong? I don't know. Because. I got number one, two, four, five, six, one, nine, two, ten, correct. Three, four, five, six, and then which one? Nine, nine ten. Did we change that? I had written him down as a Republican, or did, did I, I mishear I, somebody? Yeah, no, I wrote down Democrat. Okay. Yeah, so that's the difference. I, yeah, we I could have misheard and then changed it to he was a, he was Correct. A, I had oh, a, I, okay. I missed I that did, part. Okay, good. And I had it scratched out. Okay, nope, not mm -hmm. a problem. I want to I want to make sure yeah, I have it correct. I did. It was on at Thank you. In the morning. You're welcome. That was that was the discrepancy. So Glad I could be so, have help. Thank you I, very I much. Thank you for correcting me. Was. I must have misheard or didn't missed it when you guys changed it from one to the other. Yeah. Easy to do. Okay, cool. All right, so well, here's we hoping we, we, yeah, and we have one that we know is wrong because we do the right. same exercise. Well, we put an answer for four, but we just guessed a gene name. So <laughs> four and five are essentially guesses. Mary Jean Smith. Are we get, are we assuming her last name is Jean, or is her middle name Jean? I'm thinking that her name may have been a, given the ear. I think we did awesome. Oh, wow. Mm. Well, Janine, did you notice her name is Janine? Janine? <laughs> <laughs> and there's no G in my name at all. I noticed. And I have to be really careful because if I was in the rooms, I wouldn't know the answers. <laughs> so this, is, this is very tricky for me um but um i'm gonna just post these in and then then i will read them because then i can oh, see them in the chat are we ready to go is everybody everyone back yeah right yeah okay yeah. okay let me do this yeah okay there we go um Number one is Gene Autry. And if I had said the singing cowboy, it would have been way too easy because I would have even known it. 
So um, I and it wouldn't have been Roy Rogers. No, I've actually been waiting because... for Gene Autry to be the answer to a question on this trivia thing since it started. I am so glad I could accommodate you, Deborah. <laughs> I hope you're happy. <laughs> Um, oh, I have the wrong sheet in front of me, so I don't know. I've been waiting for Roddenberry to get the recognition he deserves. There you go. Yes, sure. Yeah, we okay. never talk about him on this trivia. That's so, right. I guess, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody ever him brings... or any of his work. I don't think yeah. we've ever yeah. mentioned him. We do talk about Star Trek all the time, but I don't think we've mentioned Roddenberry. I, I think yes, we have. I what? think we mentioned content? his name. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would there. remember it because I know his name. So. I okay, did a bunch of on him through. in school, and I share a birthday with him. Oh, that's cool. Uh, number two is Gene Wilder. Mm -hmm. uh, number three is uh, Gene Roddenberry, of course. And uh, number four, I think this is hard for everyone, and this was the only one I could have gotten. <laughs> really? really Aren't it, Janine? Why weren't you I'm on not our the team? Least surprised. Uh, this Thanks for was... messing with your team, Janine. I know. <laughs> I know, but I've read her book several times. Yeah, but uh, you weren't this, on our team. I know, I wasn't. <clears throat> so, uh, this is Jean Stratton Porter, and she's a very interesting woman, very, very um, forward for, for her time, very mm. um, independent woman, very interesting. She's, she is more famous for her photography than for her books. Oh. Yeah. I think that might be true, except that I read her young adult books, of course. So, um, but, but, but yes, not when they were originally published. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> much later. She would have been um, a very young adult. Time travel, time travel. <laughs> Don't mention it. Susan hates it. Okay, uh, number five was Jean Vincent. A uh, number six was Jean Cern Cernan. Yep. Good job. Didn't I say it correctly? Good job, uh, Zeke's husband. <laughs> oh, yes. we had to go to husband level on that yeah. one. We we like to okay. give Vincent a hard time about his spelling. Mr. Zeke. Number five, right? But but I knew Leonard would know it. Is that Mr. Zeke? Yes. Mr. Zeke, Mr. Zeke did that one. I couldn't spell my name right. You got that one right. <laughs> okay, number seven was one, yeah. number seven was Gene Kelly. Number eight was Jean Turney. Tiny. Tiny. Hey, Jean. Honey. Honey. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, number nine was oh, Jean Pitney. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. shoot. That's it would have been because that's your name, Jean Nine. Because if you. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I had to just sneak that one in there just, just to see if anybody would catch it. Wait, Thank what? you for pointing it out to me. What? What, what? are you talking about? Jean. Nine. Where does it say that? What? J e a n n i n e. It's a pun on her name, Rob. Yeah, but where does the nine come from? Nine. The, the letter is N I N B nine. You have to forgive Rob. He's still trying to look but for then rats. It's nine gene then. Not gene nine. <laughs> oh, you ruined and there were no Rob. rats in there. Okay. Number 10 was Gene Patton or Gene Gene the Dancing Machine. Now, you will Janine, take Gene Gene the Dancing Machine. You said you didn't machine. want an AKA. You said you wanted the first and last name. His last name was so the I'm, Dancing Machine. Yes. The Dancing oh, Machine. Gene, Gene, machine. Name is I'll Gene take Patton, Patton, Gene Gene the Dancing Machine. I know, but will you only take Patton? No, I'll take both. Yes, thank you, Gene. Damn. So I don't understand. Oh, is that there he there is. is. There oh, he thank is. you. I actually, I think I looked and oh saw God. him. Boy, look at him go. In my research. I don't remember him too well. I remember the unknown comic a lot. Oh, yeah. He was my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Base baseball. Baseball. I need. I actually saw him uh, live in Las Vegas. Uh, he took <laughs> the bag off his head in that show. You, you I highly recommend the movie Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. This this is going yes, to uh, uh, do okay. bad things to this video, but okay. <laughs> All right, moving along. Yes. So I don't understand reference nine that they were talking about. Janine, what what are they talking about? Gene nine. Gene nine. It, spell it her not, name. It does not relate. Nine? It does not relate to any of the questions. It doesn't no. relate just, to just any. Just to her name. 
Someone pointed out her name, Jean Nine, Janine. I don't see where it says the word. It's, it's <laughs> not related. It's, it's nothing. Let's drop it, please. It's nothing. Someone Susan, just pointed Susan's out. The numbered necklace she... is going to start blinking, and then she's going to lock up. <laughs> <laughs> Does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm gonna oh. die oh. so i must say that doing this quiz <laughs> doing this quiz in the evening is a lot more fun than doing it in the afternoon <laughs> I, it. I get it it's it's, it's a much more enjoyable because when i normally do it in australia it's the afternoon and then it's over and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon in the middle of the day but doing it in the evening with a few beers yeah. You're just going to have to move, Richard, apparently. <laughs> exactly. It might well, be the beers and nothing to do Richard, with the Richard, since you're not planning on leaving that chair, <laughs> it's fun. Richard, <laughs> it's five o'clock we somewhere. We don't have national health care, but we have trivia. <laughs> Try doing it on the East Coast. I get to do it in the evening and in the morning on yeah. one show. <laughs> Apparently, I need to come visit Susan so I can try out this chair of yours. <laughs> Everybody comes to the chair. Come it's a for lovely the chair, chair. Stay for the cat. Do we, do we need to start yet? autographing the chair? Whoever, you get a cat. whoever comes and sits Aww. in it. You get a cat, and you might find your. Oh, look at the kitty cat. Look at the cat. Oh, I I also we idea. got a free. We got a free magic show when we come too. Oh yeah, you might get a magic show. Oh sweet. Show. Mm. Yeah. You never know. Okay, I think so that's going. a really good idea, Susan. You should have everybody autograph your chair. Yeah, that'd be fun. When oh. I went to New Zealand, my my girlfriend, <laughs> I had a really hard time, but she had me write my name on their kitchen table because when her son was little, he <laughs> etched his name on the top of the table and like ruined this nice table and then said his brother did it. And at that Oops. point, they just go, okay, we have the name written on the top of the table. Everybody who comes to dinner to visit us will write their name on the top of the nice. table. Nice. They just embraced it. That's they cool. just embraced it. Yeah, and the that's kids awesome. just went and autographed Easy. everything. The car, they scratch your name in the car, <laughs> scratch your name on the wall. Scratch your or, or, the, yeah, the, 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 the toilet seat. seat. Yeah. <laughs> the cat the, just the, got the, a copy. And parents that frame the, the kids' art on the wall. Oh my yeah. put a little placard saying their their name and the date at but which it's they the brother's made it. name okay so we're now before i go too far i want to just point out here that um i have nothing for game 100 <gasps> nothing look at it's empty look at this beautiful terrible this here now, i know that i'm going to get a lot of volunteers in, in a minute so i'm just just throwing it out there okay so let's go to scores we are going to start with the team that Janine was on, right? The P2 sure. Social to come up with a team name. Are we, we behind? Eight. Oh my yeah. God. Eight. <laughs> eight? Yep. Not now. We're in second place. Okay. The jury is out. Jury is out. Eight. Ooh. No. Stop copying us. <laughs> the progression of the progression of this depression makes a good impression. Seven. Who came up with that team name, by the way? Jamie. Uh, Jamie. I did. Did yep. you come up with it on the? On a, did you hear? Gale two point oh. That's what we're going to call Jamie now. Did you use yeah. Chat GPT? <laughs> <laughs> we got ten. Ooh. Oh, breaking out there! Look First at them. Wow. Thirty, by the way. Yeah. They start out with one, and now they're just almost a one. perfect score. It's done really well after yeah. them. It's because they gave them. Kevin and then Paula. That's what I guess. <laughs> who, I might have helped a little. Team, who on your team knew number four? Uh, Not, the me. Huh? Not uh, me. Not me. Bill did. Bill. Yeah. Good job, Bill. And he, he pulled that out with like about 10 seconds to go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Those are the best answers. You come up with mm. them at the last second. Marjorie Soylent Green is not made from people. I, <laughs> I love, love that, that team name. Eight. 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 Okay, just four mm, points was, between. Was that a Carl me. special? That team name? That was a collaboration between Leonard and myself. Oh, nice, good job, you gentlemen. About That's a great team. Joint effort. Time? Okay. All righty, Rue. So we're going to the end. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Can't find him. Where the heck is he? He might have turned his face, so I can't see he him. He hasn't turned yet. Okay. 
Damn it, Carl, where's your phantom mask? <laughs> the bonus. Yeah. The phantom of the upper Okay. <laughs> so, which one, of, which one of the five bonuses that I have ready to go do you want? The easiest one. I want the one, one that's going to be fun. It doesn't fit any of the categories we've done tonight. I want the, the one, one that was is, written specifically for Ben. Team. Yeah, that, that knocks a couple yeah, of Yeah, we them want off. the one yeah. written for Ben. One <laughs> best for Richard's final category for the nighttime trivia. He's We're in the, last place. We need some points. When he's done name, each of the, goes, name the artist of each of the pieces <laughs> behind Jane. Something that goes well with Richard's beer was would be courteous. Curds and whey. Roll one die, <laughs> one D, re-roll on six. Foster's lager. Yeah. What is that? What kind of beer, beer is that? It's Foster, Australian, Australian, Australian lager. I've never Australian seen Australian that for beer. Rob Hill and Rayleigh's. Foster. Yeah. Foster. Never so seen it. It's Australian for beer. What do they call it when you're actually in Australia drinking it? Robbie. They call Frank it a <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Well, Rob did presidential stuff already, so I have to skip the several presidential ones that are ready to go. And think about your team. Well, the, the the one I'm gonna do plays heavily in my favor. <laughs> there are 13 elements with IUPAC accepted names directly named after real people, not after institutions that are named after people or locations named after people or minerals named after people, but directly after people and not after mythical people. Name any 10 of those 13 elements and I'll give you a hint, they're all transuranics. Whatever that means. Mono rules. <laughs> <laughs> They're all what did you say? Transuranic. They all come after uranium on the periodic table. Oh, I know what, one. What about your anus? <laughs> so you, you don't you don't actually if, if somehow you give me the person that's named after, but don't get the name of the element exactly right, I'll accept the name of the person as well as the name of the element. All right. Good so job. If, so if, it, for instance, if the element was Jeffersonium anymore. and you just said Jefferson, that'd be fine. We know these. We got this. <laughs> hey, I was going to say that. I, Einsteinian. I want to say that before Richard went and had to jump in. Einsteinian. Uh, well, let's just, this... This one's for you, Leonard. <laughs> okay, I know there's um. So who's uh, who's taking notes? I can't spell. Um, wait, wait, don't say anything. I didn't get sent to a room. Where do you get to go? Four. Okay, let's put you in four. Oh, oh Deborah, wait, you... I still have powers. I can Deborah, go there can myself. You take notes? Never mind. That was stupid. <laughs> do it, Janine. She has the power. Okay, let me think. They're all on the bottom. Yes. That's what my doctor said. <laughs> There's a Californianism, but that's not a name. Is that, is that why you need to sit on a comfortable couch tonight? <laughs> <laughs> no, Cal He's been California flying on is a not plane a person. for a long time, you know. Um, so the 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 heaviest current element is Oganesson. Named after Yuri Oganesian. How do you spell that? Uh, lots of consonants. <laughs> uh, there's Nobelium. Oh, the Nobels. Oh. Yeah, Nobelium, which is named after Alfred Nobel. Um, Mendelevium, named Mendel after Dmitri Mendeleev. Um, Mitnerium. Named after Lise Meitner. Uh, Copernium, named after Nicholas oh, Copernicus. That, yeah. yeah. Uh, Seaborgium, named after Glenn Seaborg. 
Um, I know his son. Wait, wait, I've got one, I got one, I got one. Wait, wait, wait. The guy from New Zealand. His name is wait, wait, wait. He's got an element, right? The one from um, New Zealand that's in Christchurch. His name is Ernst Ernst Lawrence. No. Laurentium? No. Uh no. Oh, who's the new what's which is the New Zealand guy? Anyway. Um Niels Bohr and Borium. Marie and Pierre Curie with Curium. Curium. Oh, and of course, Big Al, Albert Einstein and yeah. Einsteinium. Yep. Oh, that, that really is an Einsteinium? Yeah. Yep. And Enrico oh, Fermi and Fermium. And I although these are people's names. And although people at Lawrence Livermore Labs say that Laurentium is named after the lab. I'm pretty sure it's sure it's named after Ernest Lawrence. How many how many did I spit out already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> yeah, so there's one more. Who is that? What was the guy who was in from New Zealand who um in Christchurch and his name is he's got the he's got the lab. You go into the lab and it's Rutherford. What's his first name? Is it Frederick? Frederick? No. Bad, bad news, guys. Janine has a periodic table coffee mug in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's funny. Uh, yeah, wasn't his name? Um, he went. To, he was in. He was in uh, New Zealand. He ended up going over to uh, England. And his name and and Ruth, Rutherford's Ruth, was it Rutherford? Rutherford. But Rutherford I, I but I don't think that you, there there is a Rutherford. We I gave you Rutherford, Ernest Rutherford. But Rutherfordium. That, was that his name? Rest, was it Ernest? Ernest Rutherford. Yeah. So I did get one. I just yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> um, and, but I was going to tell uh, you all his history because see, he had the scholarship to go to the school. And they wouldn't let him in because somebody else had a higher score than him. So he had to wait. And then the next year they gave him the scholarship. And that's how he was able to get into this. You know, well, this well, fortunately, he did make it because he, he did. Uh, yeah, he did do some pretty, yeah. pretty cool stuff. See, I he was that. the guy that uh, <laughs> uh, developed the model of the atom that said most of the mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus. Yes, that is the right guy. Yep. He did a lot of stuff. He had all sorts of stuff he did. Yeah. I'd have to go to um, the notes to remember what they are. But so which, which is, which, so do we still only have uh, 12? Well, we only have to name 10. So you got to take two off. Yeah. Right. Um, so which is going to be easier for me to remember the 13th or to <laughs> decide which, which one to take off? Uh, the ones you can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take Einsteinism in them out because that's the only that's the one everybody's going to know, except for Janine. We're not doing model rules. Rules. Yeah, we're, we can that's do true. honorary model rules. <laughs> yeah, you know. Well, we got to take something off just because we're supposed to only come back with ten. Uh, what 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 are, what were the first two? Fernium, Einsteinism, or I don't know how to spell <laughs> these things. I just put. Oh, Einsteinism's a disease. Yeah, take take uh, take Oganesian off. Okay, because I can't even spell. Because I I have no idea how to spell Oganesian. You put Nobelism, Mendel Nobelium, Mendelism, <laughs> Nobel Nobelium, er, Nobelium, Laurentium, um... Laurentium, <laughs> Laurentium, Madame Curiosum, Madame Curiosum, and you got Mick. See, I've got it written down, Mick. <laughs> Mick Michelin, Periasimum. See good. Very fast. Seaborg, Seaborgium. I, I swear, I, I should just post okay. the answers and let Susan read them out. These are like my handwriting. So these are spices. Okay. Let's let let's go. Here's one I don't know what it spells. It's L A, and then I've got a bunch of squiggles in the C I A N. It's probably Laurentium. That's Didn't it. Laurentium. Tremelium. Tremelium. It does or, not exist. Or Leonard Tremelium. No, Tremelium does not exist. 
Is that the homeopathic one? Borean? No, that's the one that's really boring. boring. No, not boron or borion. It's borium, B O H R I U M. Oh, that is no way the way I spelled it. Hey, Susan. From Niels Bohr. Oh, look at the kitty. Wait a minute. Look Meow. at this. Oh, on his feet. Wiggle your toes. That's a cutie kitty. So, so my oh, weather yeah. app just said it was going to start snowing in a few minutes. Where? Where? Well, presumably where I am. No. Which is not far <laughs> from where the other two are. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, <laughs> 10 o'clock. We're supposed to get a bunch of rain. What? I don't see any snow. I don't see yeah, snow. Yeah, it's supposed to feet. snow for, uh, for, to rain for like 12 hours straight starting soon. Yeah, it's supposed to rain pretty soon for sure. Wow. I didn't know anything about snow. It says, okay, next two hours, light snow starting in 15 minutes, probably stopping within the next hour. For this is area. for Carmel. Look yeah. at that. You better go outside right now. To, and well, I can see there. outside. It's right here. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So, so we have, we have Borium, uh, Curium. We, we're skipping Einsteinium. Uh, do you want uh, Fermium from Fermium. Enrico Fermi? Fermi, Fermium. Fermium. F-E-R-M-I-U-M. Like Nobelism looks like I wrote Nobelium. Nobel, Nobelium from Nobelium. Alfred Nobel. I know. I've yeah. been there. Mendel, they're in, they're in the. Um, you had, you had Curium. Uh, oh, Curium. Is it Curium is it yeah. Um, I didn't go in, but I walked by it. Mendelism. Mendelivium. You Your had cur it was a curium. That's the only one I met the curies. Yeah, curium. Curium. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not, I'm not sure if that that it, I mean it must fit, but it's named after two people, not one person. Marie and Pierre Curie. Oh, you're not kidding, Deborah. Look at that light snow starting. Are these <laughs> are these uh, names? Are they are they named I've for people who actually worked on these things, or just in in sort of a, a as a a homage to them? Um. Some the of the thunderstorms on there. Wow, must be thunderstorms, yeah. thunderstorms some, some and snow. Each. That's what There's that would be good. Well, have you ever had uh, what, what do they call hey, it? Uh, we've had these winter storms. I forgot what they call it, uh, where you have lightning and thunder during a snowstorm. Uh, winter? it's really weird. <laughs> winter. <laughs> winter and everywhere, but, but in this <laughs> only, only going to get down to, to five degrees at 3 a.m. Okay, he's talking about not here. Richard, yeah, Richard, you picked a great time to be coming to California. Uh, Seriously, I, I'm talking in the correct scale. So, yes, Celsius. I don't know. He just said something about we're going to have frogs and toads raining, and cats and dogs under the. No, we're just gonna uh, check to... uh, check your check your firstborn. <laughs> he's in he's in Hawaii. What, what what's going on in Hawaii? You know, it's so weird. You know, we had one day of lousy weather, like, you know, a snow had a couple of inches uh, a few days ago. And then that was it. We've gotten rain and cold. We're just not getting a winter here at all. Really? It's windy in Hawaii. That's all it says. Windy, 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 windy. Oh, they're having a low of 68. Oh, it's, it, it's, it's pretty fun watching Janine work off of her coffee mug. <laughs> Sounds no, good. nope, that one's too low on the mug. Oh, that's funny. Oh, we were at a we were at a thrift store today, Richard and I, and they had a giant map of the world, like huge. And I said, Oh, I should get that to put in here in my room. Is it maps are cool? Is it cheating whenever you happen to have a placemat of the of the uh, of the something. answers no it's a happy coincidence you've always maintained any of the anything that was in your field of vision that you didn't have to open up or pull out of something. right but if you it's intentionally great. add a map of the world next to you yeah but people have maps of the world in their room but if you intentionally add it yeah, only for the reason you you're going to have if, if you did that before you knew the category that you, you didn't know that the, you you were hoping but you but, know it's eventually going to show up 
Well, but you're choosing to not put something else up on your wall that could have helped. You didn't put the periodic table up on your wall instead. Is that how you do so well, Carl? Come on, tell us. Tell us. Oh, he just remembers all that stuff. I've been to his house, and I don't remember seeing anything like that. Oh, he's got he's, he's got maps. Him. He's got maps and mugs everywhere. That's why you, you see him in profile. <laughs> They're all over. We can't see his lower half because he's got a. So so Richard, half. according to my the calculations on the on internet. <laughs> It's supposed to go down to 1.667 degrees Celsius to somewhere in the next 12 hours. That's a that's lot of significant leaders. figures. That's a that's a ridiculous that's number of significant figures. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what it's, I don't know, that's yeah, 35 so, degrees Fahrenheit and yeah, uh, whatever. That's, that's a couple of degrees above How freezing. many cats is that on your bed? <laughs> okay, so do we have 10? Okay. At least. Yeah. Well, Carl's here. He what? Oh, why? Come mine isn't working. That's Richard, in there yeah, anymore. that's ours right there. Sixty percent chance, seventy percent chance. Well, yeah, that's yeah, the percent rain. It's gonna I, rain. I wore Richard. Well, yours has. Well, you're in Salinas. Like, Maybe it's warmer there. <laughs> we're a little more in inland. We're not getting any snow. It should be colder, actually, but we're not. Gonna, well, according to what I'm seeing, we're not going to get down to freezing. No. Well, yeah, there, but thirty-five it can isn't freezing. Either. It can still. Or we'll be lucky if we get I second place. Nothing in the Bay Area. I know, but it says second at least here. It does. The, the hardest part is picking 10. Okay, so so what's the ruling on if you put something, if you if you go and buy a cup of a uh, table of elements and you just happen to be drinking your coffee out of it? <laughs> well, you can, you, can that... read, you can read the cup, but only if you spill the coffee on yourself. Oh. I can do can that. you turn the cup, or is it? Do you have to look at it and not turn it? Well, yeah, the way she's the holding it, it, yeah, the side facing her has got the periodic table on it, so it's not an issue. Yeah, we were talking about. Does it make sense if I was to go and buy mm. a map of the world and put it on my right hand side, so it's right here, like a a a, a map of Africa, with all the <laughs> really bold letters on it, and then over here would be a a table a placement that is a mouse pad that just happened to have like well, the presidency if you buy if you, if you buy a map of africa by the time you get it home it'll be out of date anyway so <laughs> <really doesn't matter. laughs> well the same oh, kind of goes for right, buying a cup of the periodic table right, right. Yeah. i used to i sit in the kitchen sometimes i have a room in someone else's house and occasionally i'll sit in the kitchen and up on the wall it, it was already there. I didn't add it before we played trivia. It was it was always there. It's a Doctors Without Borders map of the world, but it's like 25 years old or 30 years old. Yeah. Plus, I can't really read the things, but I was very excited one night when it was there. I could it was help it was helpful not at all to whoever <laughs> <that's where laughs> <it was. laughs> I remember where we used to play trivia back back in the before times. I know I know uh, Robin's still going, but there was where we sat at our table and played trivia. There was this globe that was hanging up above us, and and the part that was showing was in Africa. But it was so high up there, all you could do was see that it was out for yeah. I, like, I, I don't, I'm trying, trying to strain my eyes to see what the country is there. Right. I have we're a geography getting, category better. prepared, and that's my background for when that happens. So it's not going to help you at all. Oh. No words on it. We're getting Our better at works. African geography, Susan, for Tuesday nights. We have, we still have a Tuesday night team. Okay, cool. Beanie babies. Okay, let's go. What do we got? All right, I'm going to paste these in one at a time because it would probably look horrible formatting if I pasted the whole thing at once. So the first one, Curium, named after both of the Curies. Yeah, so does that fit? Because you said it's named after a person. <laughs> or is that really two answers? <laughs> Curi curium or Curium? I think anyone put it twice? Curiouser. We considered putting it twice. I, I think that's a good point. Number two, that, Einsteinium. No, let's not be pedantic, people. <laughs> oh, that's what it's all about. From the, oh, from yeah. the empty chair. Number three, <laughs> pedantium. Oh, wait. <laughs> Fermium. 
And therefore, Fermi is okay. Good. Yeah. So fermium is from the from the Star Trek Deep Space Nine, right? No. Not exactly. Uh -huh. That's Ferengium. <laughs> Mendelinium. Hey. Was a proposed name better for Viagra when it came out. <laughs> Nobelium. Oh. Oh. Dynam. Dynam. Was a better name than One Bellium. They said no. No Bellium. <laughs> <laughs> All bellium. Belly buttonium. <laughs> Laurentium. <laughs> we got that. Uh, yep. Lawrence Olivier's. Lawrence Olivier. <laughs> Rutherfordium. Rutherfordium. This is the one Yay. I was talking about. Yeah. I was there. The Rutherford was Ernest Dinn. Rutherford. Yes. Rutherford yes. Dinn. Yes. He's been to his was. place in McGill. Rastafarium. <laughs> Ernest Knows the Elements. What was that last one? Yeah, Star Trek. Keyboard. Keyboard. Glenn Seaborg. Glenn Seaborg. That's no, <laughs> Orium. A boy. Another, another Star Trek reference. Yeah. Not yeah. Borgium. <laughs> I'm telling you. I actually got Borium. Mike Nurium. His name is Mike. 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 Lisa yes, Mike I should have thought Mike. of that one. Mike Rensinium. I think you're just making them up. Hey, there's another G. <laughs> I thought you're gonna have Rundgen. I thought you're gonna have Susan read all these for us. <laughs> Pernicium. He says I can't, I can't, I can't even go there. Oh, oh Copernicus, good gravy. Wait. You got that one. He didn't actually I have didn't... to to create the stuff to get it named after him. And how do you pronounce this one, Leonard? Oganessen. Oganessen. Og. Who Yuri. is that? Oh, Russian. Yuri Oganessian. What did he do? Uh, Yuri Oganessian is the uh, director of the lab where that was uh, um, first produced. Oh, now he's on a trivia game. Boy. <laughs> And where was he decomposing? When, when I, I was in stole, grade school, most of these he didn't exist or have names. Where's Radium? <laughs> oh, <I> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got zero because all of Where's Heisenberg Zinium? No, no Heisenberg. Where's with Casium? And I'm doubtful. certain of that. That's the list. <laughs> and where's with, with, with a Casium? For How anyone that's casium? interested, the, the, the yeah. round. Word document is in the chat. As of course. Wow, Uzi, wow, wow. <sighs> is there oh, a Kermudian? Oh, oh. Kermudian. Quick, quick, quick. Kermudian, oh, yes. What? Can what? We, what? We, can finish, we can finish before midnight. It's uh, 30, 45 it's minutes late. We've, we've got two hours. Time, dude. Then we better fill this in pretty damn quick. We've got we've got hours. What name's midnight, gonna put on here? Time. I'm going to sit with I won't be here next week, so I can't do it. Okay, I hear I hear Gail. I'll okay. do one. I haven't done one in a while. Kevin. I hear is Gail still here? I just volunteered. I'm still here and I'm always willing to do that. Okay. So she'll do three then. <laughs> <laughs> I hear, it's, have game it's, game, it's game 150. You could have one person do them all. It's a sesquicentennial. Well, I, I, I have Robin enough. I have enough to hand. do that. Robin is raising her hand. Oh, I can't see Robin. What the heck was that? It's it's the sesquicentennial game. Uh, who else? <laughs> if nobody else will go, I could always do one. But I did a bonus tonight. Okay. Want Ben the sequel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a week, we'll put, we'll put, we'll we'll put Ron done. over here again. I can do one fifty-one as well. I can do March nine as well. Yeah, put me oh. down for that one. Are you Kyle or Carl? Rob, put put Rob down for there. <laughs> Okay. Wait, did Kyle? Did Kyle? Was that Kyle? Or was that yeah. Carl? Yeah, yeah. That was Kyle. Was it Kyle or Carl? You can Kyle. Put in the K. Whatever you want in that list. It's Kyle with the Carl. Okay, we'll put Carl. I need a bonus. 
Well, Carl has bonuses. I know, but he just didn't. Yeah, want I don't want to do two meals. Oh, okay. Got it. What are the rules for bonus? Put me in for a bonus. I have a possibility. Yay, okay. Ron. All right. Yay. I think. Very good. My God, we're never going to get no, the score. No rats were harmed in this bonus. Score. We would never know who wins. <laughs> hey, I just want to point out that Mark picked the jury is out to be the winner just based on the name of the team. So no pressure. <laughs> he was right last week. <laughs> also, <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, so let's start with let's start with the jury is out. What do you got? Wait, you picked us to win? Yeah. He uh, didn't 20. know who was in the team. He's <laughs> just, <laughs> and he's just going with the name. Put me, down for put, put me down for 20. We win. You still tie. <laughs> Seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay. Too social to come up with a team name. Uh, I have six. They can't hardly see you so well because you're um, on the You have no idea what she's got on these other monitors. It's scary. I don't know. <laughs> Four and 24-7. I don't um, think I want to know. Fetterman's confession of the progression of his depression makes a good impression. Seven. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we have, is Stallone is dead? Maybe Betty White is alive? I think we got 10. We got 10. And Ooh. Marjorie Soylent Green Stop is not that. made from people. Wow. Yeah. Talk about the comeback kids. I Look think we that. had 13, right? Wow. How come nobody's going? Woo -woo. Well, it's either 12 or 14, depending on I'm how you clapping. handle the curies. You guys don't seem so excited. I'm clapping. Just Karen. We got second okay, place. That is a good Karen comeback. Compared. That's how an amazing Janine, comeback. How did Janine only get ten, uh, six when she's got the cup? It's outdated. It's out of date. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't want to turn the cup to the other side. That's why. Oh, I like how the middle team did so much better, but round one fucked them over. You yeah. guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they'd even gotten wow. like, they'd even gotten five. Wow. They would have mm -hmm. won. Three tens in a mm -hmm. row, yeah. Yeah, round, oh, round one kicked our, kicked we had, our ass, We too. had answers that were correct, but not. For that you know, question. If, <laughs> if it's bowling well, scoring, no, they do a lot better. We, we got messed up by the flu. I mean, Ben doesn't work. But it's so, I mean, it. we had done mono rules for the bonus round. <laughs> so I'm curious good. about Carl's uh, famous shower, shower, shower curtain. What's the last element on your shower curtain, Carl? It goes up to 118. Faith and Ramiro have one, really. too. Don't, I don't think it has the name on 118. It still has the pre-official ah. name. Uh, you know whatever I, you, and, and, and which, which element is spelled incorrectly carl i have no sympathy for the first thalium. round that got one point the I'm element sorry, of thalium. Guys, we got it thalium. everybody else got the rat thalium. and i started to sing the theme song as soon as he said ben i was like oh uh, two of us and and well, not everyone, Susan. Someone else got three and someone got four. So, so, so I really came in late. I didn't know what any of the questions were. I never saw them. And they said the clue was Ben. And mm -hmm. I'm like, well, Michael Jackson had a song about a rat named mm -hmm. Ben. And that was the only thing I said. And you guys did not listen to the woman. We, we had the connection. It's just that we weren't looking for a rat. We were looking for yeah. Ben. Why? Well, well ben because the rat. first one was... It had been in the name of the Pope, so right off the bat, yeah, Pope yeah. Benedict, right? That works. And, but that wasn't his real But name. that was the wrong answer, <laughs> as, as well as the the uh con reference also worked for Benedict Cumberbatch, who played that's right Khan in the other one. So mm -hmm. I'm sure you got lots downside. of wrong answers but that would have worked beautifully. A Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> there, there's the error in my shower curtain, there it is. William. Alien. So that's part Alien. of um, Ron's Alien. cleverness in that there were two answers, two different answers to two different questions that could have, you know, confused you, you on the rat. That was very clever, Ron. All right, you guys wait for yeah. my next category. Oh, uh, I've oh, oh, thrown the gauntlet down. down. I don't like team. ambiguous answers. It's Me neither. <laughs> but I'll do it if that's what you like. Oh, no. no so we don't. What are the rules for uh, putting these quiz things together oh what, what did you rules? category rules what rules <laughs> okay. no, well, sports. have no you been sports. here five games 
<laughs> what? Well, it was Make wonderful. You go five oh, you guys Bobo. again. Before I gotta go. To Take care, everybody. Thanks for writing everything down. Have a great night. Bill. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Rob, I seriously I believe run. if you tried to make that round you're describing, your brain would reject it and freeze up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Bill, I'm Probably. answering Bill. Um, I'm answering good night, everybody. Ronnie, send me my money. Bye. Yeah, I'll get you, get you your money soon. <laughs> okay. Side. In the mail. <laughs> Yeah. So, so anyway, this was my third night here. So okay, so by your fifth one, you're good because we don't want to eat because we get a little tacky and, <laughs> and people who've done around were nice to you the first time you do around and after that it's fair game. But we try to make sure you've gotten been here at least a few games so that you're it's under your belt, you're not you're hardened a little bit about the Susan. We never attack anyone. Don't be ridiculous. No, no, never <laughs> unless it's yeah, the right. Right. Oh, 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 for poor oh, wow. Susan. Unless it's me. No football questions. So, so did, did everybody fill out Susan's new oh, uh, six degrees? I am trying everything? to answer Bill's question. So <laughs> what we make Bill, what we make people do is when they're going to do their first category ever, then we make them, um, we find somebody who's not going to be playing that night. And then you email them or Facebook them or whatever your questions. And they go over them to make sure that they fit the normal pattern of rules or whatever. And then, then, that's fine. I don't want to know the category. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know anything about it. So we get somebody who plays that hasn't. We've done a ton of categories and you can look and see if they're available. I mean, but even if it's been done before, you can do it again because it, yeah. there's no it may have, questions yeah. come up different. There aren't anything. many rules, but no we forget. <laughs> yeah, Wikipedia's no, no a good source. Questions. Terry. Terry's Only one answer the, per question. She says, we don't really like the true and false too much. I mean, some is okay, but yeah, multiple. Like do you have that. those rules written somewhere? Well, Terry's like everyone up. here kind of just knows the rules, but do you have them somewhere? They're posted up on YouTube. Yeah. Are they? Well, now. <laughs> rules? <laughs> now they are. <laughs> now, yeah. <laughs> If you listen to the end of this, this you episode, just have to watch 149 videos. <laughs> yes, well, and don't I repeat anything. Quite everything recorded, so there's only like 80, 90. Yeah, but but this but this one will go up on YouTube, and you just recited the rules, so there they Famous are. Famous sports people. But that's not I want, I want left-handed uh, Nigerian soccer players. <laughs> One leg. So there's also no, you. You know, said there's. Footed. My there's bonus like a is for Rob. You should say a source, like where you got something. Like if no. you were doing top movies, oh, you guys have doing, said like, yeah. oh no, say top movies listed by this website. Like you yeah. want to see- According to Siskel and Ebert. Yeah. When, it's, <laughs> when it's completely arbitrary. Top like top movies. Rob. Yes. Um, <laughs> for, okay. for, right. Arbitrary. arbitrary. We've for most with trivia Rob. questions, I strongly advise Using multiple sources to confirm your answers are correct and not just otherwise people on a single you. web page. Yes, right. yes, please. Multiple sources. Um, we, because the people in this room will challenge your ass. Yeah, that's yeah. why we make, sure, we make sure I you just been here for a few games before we let you do it because we don't want anybody attacked crying into the streets. Um, yeah, like the amount of gold car. in a cell phone. That's so just... we we are okay with sports, but we try to, you know. One question out of ten thing. kind of thing. I don't want to be I'm like not okay with sports at all. <laughs> I like sports. Well, I want to do a sports quiz, want... but this is the wrong crowd. <laughs> I just I just asked, all right, we have the answer. I just asked Chat GPT, what are the rules for Susan's trivia? <laughs> oh, we get new rules, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It just made sure. <laughs> We're gonna make up new rules as of 2020. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> Rob. <laughs> I we're just trying to say something. What are the new rules? Air, yeah, we're just trying to say something. Could you Why is it not pasting? Oh, because it's too long, probably. Uh, we still do multiple choice, though, don't we? Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah, we don't know. Okay. We're waiting for chat to tell Richard, us. Richard has a question, a trivia question. What is the... What is a unit of energy? Unit of energy. Named after an animal. Named after an animal. As in horsepower. Ooh. I think that's worse. Okay, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> that is so generic. Check Who else, Richard? He's sitting right here. So, well, can anybody think of another one? Ask Chad GBT who's sitting here. <laughs> Unit of energy? Uh, gerbil power. Cats. Squirrels? Mole. 
I don't think Chad GBT knows who Susan is. Mole. Mole. Yeah, mole. It's not a unit of energy. That's not a unit of energy. That's not energy. No. That's a quantity. Yeah. Quantity. It's a quantity, and it's not it's named not after the animal. Oh, actually, it knows who Susan is. It's it's uh, all right. I just asked who Susan Garbick, and it's it's. It claims. Yeah, I'll print it. It, it doesn't Susan know is. anything. <laughs> yes. It looked up who Susan Garbick. Well, it, okay. it is not currently connected to the internet um, to to to, uh, game, to scrape the information. There we go. It, it well, does it's got, know the it's, name it's of my. It scraped that from the database. I got that one right. Right, it scraped it from the database. It did not look it up at any oh, time no you know, when you when you asked. We don't have a time period. Yeah, uh, when we quit talking, we're done. <laughs> uh, we don't have a difficult, no, no, no. What no. do you do? No, but this is the last, my last uh, paste into the chat. That's a separate question. That was who is Susan Garbick? That's all. And that is reading almost directly from Wikipedia. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't go to Wikipedia. We learned that last night. Well, it doesn't go to the no, current it, version. It doesn't go to current things. Yeah. Right. Oh. Uh, cuz okay. it cuz its database stopped collecting somewhere around 2021. Do you want to ask um, it what is Susan Garbic? <laughs> an awful I, lot of information. An awful lot of information. I really yeah. really wanted to put in a sentence structure that's totally nonsensical. Maybe like an ad libs question. <laughs> go for no. it. No. You go subject verb adverb. Well, how about there once was a man from Nantucket and see what happens. <laughs> but that's Who not was a the man question. from Nantucket. So ready to get ask a question. GTE thing gone. Hey, Kyle, when do you want to do this again? Kevin, I, there once was a man from Salinas. Yeah. Who was uh -oh. the man from Salinas? Who had I a mean, you gotta ask a question. Who then. had a oh. giant? Oh, oh nice wait. answer. I got the Nantucket one. Here was the answer. What was it? Why was it that now? I'm Actually, sorry, but I connected. How did you ask the limerick. question, Rob? How did you ask the question? Because Just we exactly asked it what you said. I, I it wasn't we, a question. I said there was about? once a man from Nantucket. That's all we I asked it as a question and it told us it's a phrase from a well known limerick and it gives the full sure. version. Sure. I know the clean version of that. Yeah, the, there's a clean, very hey, clean version. Um, Karen, are you around Is there tomorrow an or tomorrow? Like, I didn't know there was a um, bad version of yes. it. Yes. There I was one from the from there. Uh, uh, his nose was so big. Jeannie, Scott, stuck it. Jeannie Scott's going to come over here to pick up Richard around noonish, ish, 12 30. Oh. And then we'll probably get something. We're going to go get something to eat. Probably. I'm, I'm always Michaels. game to hang out. Well, Michael's is open, I tomorrow. think. Tomorrow. I, I have work to do, but I will. I will work I'll later. Text you. I'll text I will you. Work, work, work later to hang out with you guys. It's not gonna be a oh, I think no. I have a date already to go watch Ted Lasso over at Lori Caldera's house. Susan, are you talking tomorrow or Saturday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. She's gonna pick Ooh. up Richard, and then they're gonna go up to back up to the barrier. Well, I, I want to I want to talk to Leonard if you have a few minutes about um and maybe we can go to a breakout room if anyone else doesn't care about spoilers or has read project hail mary i, I read it again and there's a problem with the science slash math i want to i want to get your opinion on it well i'm going to close the room so you're going to have to should just start your own <laughs> i'm going to go to sleep because it's time to get up now we we can so, uh, we can meet up. on uh facebook i have Facebook's on different. thursday the right. second i have a well, actually, probably tomorrow. Yeah, it's already your crown put on. Yeah, right. or you might want to get some sleep. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. All right. We'll Friday the third is great. Okay. What time? Adios. I hear episode two of Picard 11? calling You're my up. name, so I might watch that. Oh, go tomorrow for me. Locked in. I'll send day? you an invite. I what? It's awesome. up, Carl. Uh -oh. Okay, y'all. Yeah. Everybody, you're gonna watch night. it too. Night, everybody. Night, everybody. Night, everybody. Great to see you. Good night. Night.